Do you want to see the coolest art supplies from a ton of different companies? From Holbein, Faber-Castell, Karen Dash, Zebra, Artesia, Sharpie, Prismacolor. The list goes on and on. There are so many cool companies at this Creativation Conference here in New Orleans. I have had the pleasure of going and seeing all these booths and I'm going to walk you through these booths and show you what is out there so you know what to get. Let me know which one is your favorite and I hope you enjoy walking through with me. Creativation is an annual event that combines the craft industry with the fine art industry. This year it was held in New Orleans and they had lots of great food there. I will tell you, ton of great food. It's an industry only event where manufacturers, buyers, retailers and creative professionals attend. There's lots of demonstrators. They demonstrate the product. You see the people that actually make the product demonstrating the product. The artists for the brand will demonstrate the product at Creativation. It is so fun to watch and I learn so many things. So let's go inside and you'll see what I saw this year and hopefully you'll love it as much as I did. First up is Posca. I was so glad Posca was there this year because they weren't there last year. Though these are the Posca Moppers. I've already done a video review of them. I love them. I love everything Posca. Here are all the Poscas. I wish I could get every size. Eventually I will, but this is a container. Wouldn't that be awesome to have in your house? But this is really for stores. They're going to put it in stores. So you can easily find all the Posca markers you want. And here are some of the theme sets for Posca markers that are available out there. Look Look at some of those color palettes they look beautiful and I love Posca markers you guys know this they're some of my favorite paint markers and my kids favorite paint markers and look at how they decorated the palette for the Posca markers I love that little detail the next stop that we're going to go to is Sharpie and Sharpie has new glam pops out this year there are two new colors of glam pops if you haven't seen them I have a review up and then there's a creative marker there's the paper mate ink gel joy and there's a white paper mate ink gel now you can see that in this case right here this white paper mate ink joy gel I thought it was black and I was trying to get it to come out and it wouldn't I was like oh it's white and then we, here we have the Prismacolor all the different sets they're all made under the same company they're just different names and here we have this you'll see this get finished it's the sharpie creative marker and then they used it to color in and here's the artist he did lots of cool marvel paintings or whatever you call them or drawings and you'll see some of the finished ones here they were amazing i am in awe by all of these artists they do such a great job look at some of these things that he drew while he was there during his time it's just amazing i thank you for hanging out sharpie the next place that we're going to go to is derwent and derwent has a lot of amazing they have a lot of pencils a lot of different pencils and then they have watercolors so some other watercolors will kind of double as pencils will double as watercolors you can have them either in watercolor form or in pencil form especially the ink tents and they you can see over there they have the extra large blocks but these are the paint pan scents which i think are really amazing the color palettes are really nice that they have in these paint sets and then over here you will see their extra large blocks and i know that some of you guys love those extra large blocks and something that is new this year is the chroma flow is extending to 150 pencils and you'll see the box down there and then light fast on the other side and here are all the pencils i don't know if this case had 150 of them because i don't think there were 150 light fast but now here are all the 150 chroma flow and here's the box that it comes in and there's a cherry on top crafts right there you'll see them later in the show and then here are some of the ink tents pencils and the ink tents blocks, the graphic tint. There are so many pencils. They have erasers, they have water brushes, they have paper. And here I am, I'm gonna be demonstrating all these colors. Right, we're actually gonna start with the pastels. So I'm gonna come over here and I am just gonna to touch this. This was really cool how they had this set up, like the water was coming into this water brush somehow. I don't know how, but every time I squeezed it, like more water would come out. And so this is just a really pretty palette. You can kind of see it going down. We're getting really getting a nice gradient. Um, why am I switching, switching to graphic tint? I don't know. 
but I am just being silly. Maybe I just didn't do all of them. I just chose like to do that top half. Some of them I did all of them, some of them I didn't. Never know the rhyme or reason, right? I think I just picked the colors I think would look good together. This Inktense is like one of my favorites because what is really great about Inktense is once they are dry, they are permanent. But before, once you've activated them once, they're permanent. But once you've gotten them wet, they will stay that way. So you can put them on shirts, you can put them on clothing, so you can put them through the wash and they will actually stay that way and they won't like fade away. They're light fast, they're everything. You can use these on paper as watercolors. They're just really, really pretty colors. Next we have the metallic and I still think I have some of that ink tents on there. So I'm getting it out cause I'm like, uh oh, we're gonna go over here and get this. But you can play around with that. You can combine different pencils. These are the metallic ones. They are a super pretty palette, as you can see here. They're really blending together really well. Here's the silver. I think it's silver. But I love how they had all of these together so you could kind of see how they worked and the different colors that were available in some of these palettes. And I think I'm trying to do all of the metallics because why not <laughs> exactly? I'm like, I didn't do all the other colors, but I'm going to do all of the metallic. Next up, I'm coming to, yeah, why do I on a white piece of paper? Nope. So this is their watercolors, which is a little bit different than their Inktense. They, the Inktense is a lot, you can use it, it's more versatile. This is mostly for watercolor. If you're going to do a watercolor on a page, you would do this watercolor. And there are all my colors that I did. It was so much fun just to do it there. Here's all their water brushes. I would definitely recommend, I have a couple. These are all their paint pan sets that we kind of already talked about a little bit. And then all their large extra blocks again. <laughs> oh, this is where I got a little bit of the yeah, detail. And then we have the pencil sharpeners, erasers, the light fast paper. And this chart is amazing. And I have zoomed into it so you can see it. I actually probably should just put it in a blog post because it tells you what pencils to use and what to use with it and what kind of paper, what kind of sharpener to use, what kind of brushes, erasers, drawing aids for coloring, for the pencils, for the cover, colors off, chroma, I wonder if they have this available as like a PDF. I actually like was looking to see if I had grabbed anything from Dwight and I hadn't. And I think I was telling him I was going to come back, but I didn't. Next up, we have Faber Castell, and this is a new product from them. It's called the Pop Up Coloring Set. And you can see it's really pretty. So you color it first, and then you can pop it out. So you don't have to make it look like the picture, but on the back you'll see kind of the steps, and then you get some colors in there, and then it'll end up looking like this. You can make it look however you want it. And what I really love about Faber-Castell is they are very green. They plant a certain number of trees. They don't take all the forests down in Brazil is where they're headquartered um, for manufacturing. And here are the pens, which are light fast, which you don't find a lot of markers are pens markers. And here, I love all of these and I have reviews of a lot of these. They're some of their pens, their watercolors. This is their fine liners. These are calligraphy art that are using those pens or markers on the other side. These are their gold Faber Aqua. And I do have a few of these, but I don't have a ton of boxes. I haven't bought the whole set. They're not available as a whole set. And I really love to buy like a whole set. So I haven't actually bought these all, but I have a few of them and they're really great. Faber Castell also carries pens and they have some nice wooden boxes. They also have a metal box that's a little bit more affordable and now they have black edition. And I was really excited to see these. These ones came out in, they were launched outside of the United States and they're coming here this year. They have a skin tone set and we're gonna look inside the box and see all the colors. I really want to review these and they said these are great. They're a good mid pencil. They're not like the super best, but they're a really good quality pencil the black edition. So I'm totally gonna get these. I'm like, I really want these. These look amazing. They come in the usual metal tin that they have. Let's see if we can get it out. There's me trying to get it out. I think they're gonna actually help me get it out. They're like, oh, look, it's easy. <laughs> so in the next one, we have the Pit Artist Pens, which were the ones that we talked about. And then these are some really cool lettering that they've done. And here we are a little bit more about all of their 
initiatives to help the environment. So again, with these, they're going to be dual ended and the nibs are going to be that really, really thick brush nib, mm -hmm. which is a really good for your thick strokes. And then we have a metal encased fine nib. So the metal encased nib kind of allows for that, um, you know, really precision drawing, outlining, lettering, really anything. Oh yeah. Next up we have Karen Dash. And can you look at that? That chess piece is created with Karen Dash. Like I said, they have demonstrators for all these products there. Right now he's doing the background and you can see it ran out, like it broke. And so he was able to put it in a crayon extender. So I actually did them out of order. He broke the crayon first and then he put it in the extender that you saw first. So sorry, I put those clips out of order, but you can see he's coloring that background in. It just looks super nice, super realistic. Karen Dash are some of the top um, mark <laughs> pencils to use and crayons. They are just amazing. I bought the Aquarelle set and I can't wait to try them out. I really want to invest in the luminance to try them out, but I have not yet, but I will. It's on my list. Probably of things to get this year is the luminance. I think they come in a hundred. You'll see the boxes right here. Here's a hundred luminance. So that's on my list of ones yet. This is a museum Aquarelle and Aquarelle is just their watercolor pencil. And pastel pencils are like what it sounds they're like a pastel and i did buy a box of a different brand of pastel that i'm really excited to try and there's their graphite line their pablo pencils i feel like these ones are maybe not quite as nice as their luminance and then we have some more aquarel pencils super color aquarel neo color one and then there's a neo color two i picked up the neo color two because that's what they told me to get and i'll let you know the difference between the two then we have Fibralo and Gouache Studio. We have some paper that they make and pencil sharpeners. Okay, I need to try one of those pencil sharpeners because they look amazing. I think that's an eraser. This is like a creative box which has a lot of different of their types of their products. And then we have some more just smaller sets that they have. These are the Swiss Color Aquarel, so another watercolor. And then we have some more pencils. These ones are a little bit shorter. And then these are all their pens. And aren't those so pretty? Like I wanna just take one of each color and display it because they're so pretty. I love how they're displayed right there. And these are all their pens. I should really try them out. I should really get into like the best ballpoint pen because everyone needs a good ballpoint pen, right? And then these are some of their journals in the back right there and their pens to write in the journals with. And now we are off to Holbein and they had a local artist come in. He is super amazing. And let's talk about this next artist that you're going to see. He made this whole banner, the person standing right there. He made this whole banner and in his garage and I am just amazed. I think it's just amazing all the uses of color he has. And look at this, just amazing use of color. And they're gonna explain these to you. Hi, welcome to Holbein Booth here, number 633 at the NAMTA show. We're going to go through some of our materials with you. First, we're going to talk about our duo. This is our water soluble oil. Um, basically, it's manufactured the same way as all traditional oils. Oh, yeah. There's an extra added ingredient yeah, called a surfactant that renders it water soluble. So it is linseed based. It is a true oil color. It's compatible with all traditional oil colors and oil colored mediums. The difference being that uh, instead of a solvent, you can either thin or clean up with water. Anything with a duo label on it is also water soluble and compatible with both oil color and anything else water soluble. So if you want to mix it with oil, you can. If you want to mix it with watercolor, acrylics, washes, it is truly the ultimate mixed media paint. Next, we have a, an assortment of knives. The ones on the top left in particular that you're looking at now are the SX uh, or SX replacements. These are the MX knives. These ones in particular are made by Japanese sword makers. It's all one piece and uh, they're extremely uh, high quality precision art tools. Again, those are uh, handmade knives. That's the 1066 series. It's, uh, uh, slightly more affordable, but a uh, great line of knives nonetheless. 
Here are some of our accessories, including canvas uh, pliers where you can use to stretch your own canvases. Uh, we also have brush washers, airbrushes, canvas uh, carriers, um, some mediums, holders, palette cups, and different assortment of whites for our oil line. There's our whites and some of the oil mediums. As you can see, there are many different mediums that we offer. This particular bottle is a 55 ml size. We offer the same uh, assortment in 200 ml size. To your right here, we have our traditional oil line. Uh, most notable is the uniform viscosity or feel through one color to the next across the entire color line. If you're familiar with using oils, one color might be really stiff and you open another color, it's really soft, like warm butter. In this case, Holbein has manufactured the color to all be uniform in viscosity, so the feel from one color to the next is much more consistent, making workability and mixing much easier. This next color line here is the Vernet Superior Artist Oil. It's only 40 colors and in a uh, small 20 ml size tube. They're highly pigmented, ultra concentrated. Uh, the 20 ml tube size uh, will offer as much coverage as the, uh, the larger size in the 40 ml tube. That's relative or in part because of the granulation of the pigment. There is a smaller granulation in the Vernet, so it, uh, you get more pigmentation in the packaging than the traditional oil. Oh my gosh, that's we also have three color, uh, three lines of pastels. This one in particular is our academic oil pastel. That round stick is an affordable option. To the right, you have your oil pastel selection. Uh, it is a square or rectangle form uh, format of stick here, a nice long stick. You will have the ability to have nice sharp lines or the broad line uh, using the width. Most notable about the oil pastel is that it's, uh, it also includes a wax, so it doesn't actually ever dry out. If you ever want to do artwork in oil pastel, it's, you're going to need to put it behind glass. The next line here is our soft pastels. These are our chalk pastels. Uh, they are a medium soft. As you can see here, this is an assortment of a 12 color selection. Um, even a soft finger will pull pigment off of that stick. Um, it's not quite as soft as some of the other ultra soft pigments out there or uh, uh, soft pastels out there, but uh, it's soft enough to go over other layers of color, but also hard enough to get a nice sharp line. The next color line here is our range of colored pencils. It's 150 colors. Uh, the full assortment is obviously available in open stock and an assortment of different sets, whether it's uh, 12 colors to 24, 36, 50, 100, and 150. This particular set here is one that we're, uh, we are just launching at Holbein, uh, at, from Holbein for this NAMTA show. This is brand new to us. This is our Holbein Artist Colored Pencils. It comes in this wood box. So this is wood sourced from forest thinned forest in Hokkaido, Japan, which is the northern part of Japan. That's uh, in part with the Japanese government. They're making sure that the forest can grow. So the forest thinned wood was procured by Holbein to make some of these boxes. This is a 30 year anniversary piece where you can see these boxes are made with uh, plywood, including the inlays here. Some of these colors are have a, a ribbon according to the color tray here, as you can see blues and greens on these trays and all of these actually nest together so this is the full 150 color assortment they come together like this and it's a nice beautiful box and um, almost a furniture piece here's a really unique uh, watercolor palette which we'll talk about for just a sec this has removable pans so each one of these you can pull out and replace with either the single pan or one of these double sized pans so depending on what you're working or what colors you want to travel with uh, you have different options where you can leave some colors at home or not. Here's our watercolor. Uh, the full range is 102 colors. It's available in 15 ml size, which is this, and 5 ml size, which are these smaller tubes. Most of the time, the, uh, we offer them in a large format, 15 ml size tubes, but we have a whole a large assortment of different sets from five colors up to the full range of 108 in sets. We offer 
different mediums. Here's another watercolor medium. This is a paper texture paste to where you can turn any surface into something that's like paper. In this case, it was a masonite panel with a paper texture on it. And as you can see, this is a watercolor painting that looks just like a watercolor. We also offer these pan sets. This is a 48 colors. This is a watercolor half pan set. Um, they're open stock, available in indiv individual colors and assortments of 12, 24, up to 48 color assortments. We have a line of papers. This is just some of them. Here we have a drawing book, which is um, great for illustration, charcoal, some markers, and light uh, watercolor. This croquis paper, or even this one. This one's called Cats on Parade. Here's our the full cover. This is a thin drawing paper that's ideal for pencil or charcoal. This is our white ibis paper. This is uh, it's a Japanese watercolor paper, uh, about 140 pound. We offer them on also mounted on the shikashi panels. This one has a little kickstand, so it stays up nice. But then there's other smaller sizes, including. These. Okay, back to color. Here we have our uh, range of traditional gum arabic based gouache. Uh, we've added to our regular assortment our 48 new colors of Iridori, traditional colors of Japan. This is a revisit of line formerly uh, advertised as our wa a watercolor line. It's better suited as a gouache. It's more of an opaque watercolor, which is what gouache is. Um, the most notable characteristic of Holbein's gouache is its opacity is driven strictly by pigment. So there's nothing added to it to make it opaque. Uh, the opacity is strictly from a high uh, concentration of pigment within the binder. Again, many sets available. Next color line here is our acrylic gouache. Like a gouache, it handles, feels, and mixes, and finishes very similar in that it is uh, thin laying, opaque, and matte drying. Uh, but like an opaque, uh, uh, sorry, like an uh, acrylic, it is uh, more or less permanent once dry. You can scrub it up a little bit, but unlike gouache where you can reconstitute once it's wet and lift color and reposition it, the acrylic gouache is more or less uh, permanent, like an acrylic. Here we have the same line, this acrylic gouache. This is available in two sizes. Uh, often retailers enjoy having double uh, two sizes. So here we have the 20 ml size and a 40 ml size. So many retailers have this double display. This next color line is our colored gesso. We offer regular standard gesso, this S or M here. This is a regular white gesso, but then we also offer an assortment of colors. Um, this is great to use either as a mural and paint as is, or uh, if you like to have a toned ground instead of trying to tint a white gesso or paint over it and sacrifice either tooth or color vibrancy, you have your bold colors right off the bat. So this carmine here will react or, or uh, handle just like a regular gua um, gesso and you'll be able to paint subsequent layers on top with great adhesion. Here are acrylic mediums. We have gels and pastes. There are a number of other squeeze bottle mediums too. So we offer the gels and an assortment of the pastes. The gel is essentially, a, uh, imagine an acrylic without the color in it. So there's many different things that you can do based on which gel it is. All gels are somewhat similar, um, but each have a unique characteristic that might make a specific application more suitable for another. The modeling paste is the gel medium with a marble dust in it, so it's physically a lot heavier. The gel is clear and it dries clear. The modeling paste is white out of the packaging and it dries opaque white. So you can paint on top of it, but if you try to mix color into it, it'll turn to sort of an Eastery pastel color. Whereas if you're painting on top or, or mixing color into a gel, you'll find that regular, uh, the full strength tone color. Here's a color chart here. So you can see this is the gel without any pigment in it, and this is the gel with the color in it. So you can see here that this is dried to its normal color without any shift. Um, there's slight difference in transparency um, because you've added more binder, but um, here you see the modeling paste where uh, if you try to mix color into it, it's gonna change the color. In this case, the color has been mixed, painted on top. Okay, this next color line is our Holbein Heavy Body Acrylic. As you can see, this is the full assortment of colors. Uh, if you were to see these in person, you'll see that some of the colors are more matte, some are more opaque, some are glossy, some are more matte. 
and that's done on purpose. The colors have been left as is without any extra additives or glossifying or matting agents. Uh, the full range is 113 colors, so it's a really comprehensive list uh, or assortment of colors, and it serves as the parent for a couple of the other lines that we're going to talk about in a second. Um, the line itself is, uh, out of the tube, a really light and airy feel uh, acrylic, so you can build up a lot of great texture, and it feels really nice at the end of your brush or on a palette knife. It's great to mix in with any of the mediums, but again, uh, some characteristics might be better suited for mixing into the mediums for the other color lines. This next color line here is our matte acrylic. As you can see all these it's a 36 color range where all the colors are uniformly matte finishing. So this is a, an example of a color line where a matting agent has been added to it to make them all uniformly matte after they dry. Uh, it's a short range of colors only 36 but um, in my personal opinion, 36 colors kind of get you just about everything you need uh, with some color mixing. This next color line is the uh, Artist Fluid Acrylic. Um, if we reference the heavy body acrylic as something like colored Vaseline, um, as in when you slop it down, it's gonna hold its really high peaks and textures and it's gonna dry like that. The fluids, if you put it on your substrate, it will pool um, you, it won't hold much texture. If you maybe rake a, a, a comb or a, a tool through it, it will hold some brush strokes. But for the most part, it's really self-leveling. It's a great medium for adding to uh, the actual acrylic mediums to color them. Um, if you are into pouring acrylics, this is a great medium to use as well. Our fluid acrylics from Holbein are much less apt to craze or foam, and those are fancy words for wrinkling and bubbling. Uh, because of the ingredients in the manufacturing process, uh, in uh, the pouring process, you will see many fewer bubbles, and in the drying process, it's much less apt to wrinkle or crack. The final color line that we'll talk about are the acrylic inks. This is, again, uh, uh, an assortment of colors, like the fluids, that you'll find the same assortment uh, in the heavy body acrylics, just not the, the, the full assortment. So the pyrol red in the heavy body is the same as the pyrol red in the fluid, which is the same as the pyrol red in the ink. Why that's important is if you are thinning, per se, your heavy body acrylic to something to the consistency of an ink, which is very watery, so this is the opposite end of the spectrum. There's actually a little ceramic ball in here to shake and help mix it up in between uses. Um, if you were to thin your tube color to something like this, you're losing out on that really strong color vibrancy um, and in some cases opacity. So here you have a ready-made mix or the, the binder is such where it's very thin and watery so you don't have to thin your tube color, it's ready uh, to use as is. Whether you're mixing it into your acrylic mediums or if you're an airbrush artist, a dip pen, fountain pen, uh, or a uh, refillable marker artist. Uh, these are great uh, inks to use in any of those without having to augment or water down. We're gonna go over to Zebra now, and Zebra is one of my favorites. They make the model liners, they make a lot of pens, the Z-Grip, the Sarasa Clip. Christina here is making some amazing art. She makes a lot of the art for the boxes. She is such a delight to be around and she is super talented. Anything she touches, it looks amazing. And you should tell her that, write it in the comments <laughs> that she does amazing art. Cause I think it's so pretty. And Anne-Marie is gonna show us around the booth. Hi. Hi, welcome to the Zebra Pen booth. We wanted to show you some of our new items that we have at Creativation 2024. The one we're most excited about this year is the new Mildliner Mix. So for those of you who are familiar with Mildliner, so Mildliner is a double-ended highlighter. It's got a chisel tip and a bullet tip. The unique thing about this is it's really soft, mild colors that are beautiful and translucent. Great for layering. So you can put different colors over one another and it's just very beautiful. There's 35 colors in the regular mild liner range. And at this show, we are launching the new mild liner mix. So mild liner mix is a little bit different than the mild liner highlighter in that it's a single ended marker. So it's just got the chisel tip. 
and it's got kind of a paint mechanism that you need to pump to engage to get going. I'm gonna get one off the rack here that hasn't been used. So it's just gonna be a white tip when you get going and you just sort of engage it on the surface to really get the ink going, which takes about 20 to 30 seconds. I'm gonna kind of fast forward it here because we already have one engaged. But the cool thing about it is it has the same ink colors as mild liner, but two colors in one. So it really gives you this very beautiful two in one effect. Again, just like my liner, it's awesome for highlighting, great for doodling, great for lettering. You can still get translucent colors. There's six different color combinations, which we have showcased here. And we're really excited to be launching that at the show. So there's a couple different pack variants. There's the cool, and then there's the warmer color combination, and then there's a six pack as well. We're also so excited to be featuring our new palettes within the highlighter for mild liner, mild liner brush, and then click art retractable felt tip pen, some smaller six count palettes. We are also showing the Mojini highlighter. For those of you who aren't familiar with Mojini, Mojini, Mojini is really cool because it has this unique flexible tip kind of like sort of like a brush pen but if you're highlighting around the edge of a book kind of in the binding of a book it really allows that the nib of the marker to stay on the surface so you you can keep your notebook very beautiful and clean it also has a unique formula that if you're writing in a gel pen and you highlight over it it's not going to smear or smudge which is really awesome there's five different colors in mojini all in neons and they have japanese writing on the barrels We, yeah, we also have our new 25 count box at this show. It's really cute and fun. You can carry it around. You can put it on your desk and have your pens all organized on your desk, making it really easy to like pull from and just kind of keep this cute presentation on your desk. We also have the same, this one is not new, but we have the same in the, in the click art. Again, just like a great little case to have on your desk to keep your pens neat and organized. Another new product at this show is Sarasa Clip Vintage. So Sarasa Clip is the number one selling gel retractable in Japan. It's really popular for planning and journaling because it gives you this really vibrant color and a precise clean line. So when you're working in a small space on your journal, it's really going to allow you to kind of keep your notes very tidy and neat, yet you'll still have this really vibrant color despite the fine lines. So it's a 0.5 millimeter. It's also a pigment based ink. So it's not gonna, like if you you know got water on this or you wanted to use a water brush, it's not gonna smear or blossom. And it has, hence the name, this cool clip that you can attach to your planner or journal. At this show, so we have 20 of like these fashion, like fun colors, um, all in 0.5. We're launching the Sarasa Clip Vintage, which has been around in Japan for a few years. It has these really beautiful vintage colors, 10 different colors. There's a gray, there's this beautiful yellow. They pair really well with the Mild Liner Neutral palette. So we have like the coppers, the beige, and the gray. They're a really nice combination with those. So one of our really popular brands um, in the ballpoint category is Z Grip, which we don't normally feature at this show. So Z Grip is a retractable ballpoint. It's got a low viscosity ink, great value price point. We are launching a retractable highlighter at this show within the Z Grip brand. All neon colors, really cool design, chisel tip as a regular highlighter, very vibrant and fluorescent, and great you know value price point. It's also got a metal clip, which makes it really easy to attach to a notebook or journal. One other thing that you may not have seen is our Doodler's brush pen. Really fun packaging. This is a water-based dye ink, so it's great if you want to like use a water brush and you wanted to like do some watercolor techniques like the packaging shows. It's double-ended, so it's got 
the regular brush point, point tip, and then a bullet tip, you know, really flexible, great for lettering, great value price point. The retail price point is like a dollar per piece, so great price point. You know, great giftable for someone who's learning how to letter or really getting started in that area. And I think that's about all the new stuff. Thank you guys so much. I'm just gonna show you pan real fast all their products because they're amazing. So these are the, the products that you can get in the store. Some of these aren't available yet, but they will be available this year. Look for them in online, in Blick, uh, or you can look at for them at Michaels, Walmart, Target. They sell them in a lot of stores. Mechanical pencils, steel barrel pencils. I wanna try those. And then we have I think those ones are calligraphy pens over here, fountain pens. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never used it. And they are such a delight to be around. Thank you, Zebra, for letting me visit. So much fun. Next up is ACMI. And ACMI is very important because they put the symbols on all of the art supplies that make sure that they are safe for kids and for you. So if you're looking for art supplies, look for that AP symbol on the back. And these are all the partners there that they had at Creativation. They are the standard in making sure products are safe. And I cannot stress this enough. Just make sure that you look for that symbol on the back. Look, look for it, look for the sills. And here's an example of all the products that they make. Um, not that they make, that they get tested, that the companies choose to test. So make sure you're looking for this symbol and it's very important. And I, I cannot stress that enough. Look for that symbol. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Lawrence Hoffman. I'm the VP of Sales for Marvy Yoshida. Welcome to Creativation 2024. I'd like to start out by highlighting a few of our products, our better known products. So this is our Deco Color paint marker line and it has expanded significantly. So what we're looking at over here is some of our acrylic paint markers and uh, we now have five tip sizes in that. We have an extra fine, a fine tip. We have a broad, a chisel, and then what we call our rooftop tip. We also have um, our premium metallic markers. And the reason we call those premium is they have a higher concentration of metallic pigment. So they actually do have a reflective property. We have three different tip sizes. We have a chisel tip, we have a leafing tip, and a fine tip, and we have four colors. We have a silver, a gold, a copper, and a rose gold, which is absolutely beautiful. So with our acrylic line, you can see the display down here. Uh, we've got over 30 colors in our acrylics, and as I mentioned, the multiple tip sizes. And all the product that we sell, we sell either open stock and displays like this, or we sell it carded or in sets. So this is some of our Deco Color paint markers. Let's move around to the other side, and we'll hit our, our, our oil-based paint markers. So these are our Deco Color oil base. This is one of our most popular paint lines. Being an oil-based paint marker, it is truly a multi-surface marker. It works on almost every surface. It works on glass, metals, plastics. Uh, the colors are opaque, they're pigmented. Um, these things are indoor, outdoor safe. We've got three different tip sizes in this. We've got, again, over 30 colors, and uh, the color ranges are absolutely beautiful. Um, this is one of our more, more popular lines here. So we sell a lot of the extra fine for uh, people who like to, to draw and, and do journaling. And, uh, but as you can see, as we kind of move around, they're great for almost any project. So I tell you what, let's head on over to our, let's go to our Le Pen line over here. And we'll start with our Le Pen Flex. So this is our Le Pen Flex category right here. It is um, a fantastic writing instrument. The difference between our Le Pen and our Le Pen Flex is our Flex has a rubberized flexible nib. So you can kind of see the lighter the pressure, the thinner the line, the heavier the pressure, the thicker the line. And what that enables you to do is do some really creative writing with it. These are great for journals and planners and also for hand lettering because people enjoy the flexible tip. It's much more controllable than maybe a longer brush. We have 24 colors of these. And again, one thing I really appreciate about these is they are in a great plastic case. So it's a reusable plastic case so it, uh, people don't throw these away and you can actually store the product in it as you're using it down there on the table. And then around the corner over here, we're moving to our Le Pen. which this right here, we were one of the original fine line manufacturers and our Le Pen has been in the market for a long time. We're up to 36 colors. The great thing about Le Pen is it works great on thin papers. It doesn't bleed through. 
Uh, we actually sell some of these to a, a Christian bookstore, Mardell's, for Bible journaling, so it works great on the thin Bible papers. Um, as I mentioned before, we've got the open stock versions here. We have carded, and then we have 10-piece sets, 6-piece sets, and 4-piece sets over here. And as you can see, some of the examples, um, you can do some really, really fun things with these. The color of the barrel matches the color of the ink. It's got a really durable nib, and, uh, and the size of the barrel is really easy to use and, and sits well in the hand. All right, let's take a jump over here to our fabric section. We have a tremendous amount of fabric markers. We didn't bring them all with us. We just kind of brought a small sampling. So uh, we've got a lot of different versions of fabric markers. And, and what, what we've got here, you see the top, those are actually, we call those our Just Glitter Premium. The fun thing about those is that the solvent base of the marker itself is clear. So the only thing that comes out is the color of glitter. You can kind of see down here on the dark denim, it looks really, really nice. It pops, even it works great on paper as well. So our Deco fabric line is also pigmented and opaque, so you can use a Deco fabric on dark and light fabrics. So the glitter is part of the Deco fabric line, the standard colors are, we have a glow in the dark, we have our snow marker, which you apply heat to it and it puffs up. But we also do have a traditional fabric marker, more along the lines of uh, just a, it is pigmented, but it's an ink base, so those are really probably better more for uh, light, light color fabrics, but they're permanent, they're wash, are fade resistant, they won't wash out. So if you're into fabric decorating, I would definitely recommend our Deco Fabric line. And on the other side here, so we've actually kind of put together a whole line of shoe decor product. So basically there's not one product that works on every shoe. So what we did is we gathered some products together from our line and uh, we basically grouped them together with, with the surfaces that they work on. So this one, for example, is, is an acrylic paint and that works on the leather, it works on the fake leather, also you can see the rubber from the, the croc type shoes. It also does work on the canvas as well and it's opaque and it's layerable. You can layer the colors over each other and this is a beautiful one here. This is actually done with our Deco Color Oil Base. And then these up here, these are done with our traditional fine tip fabric markers, along with some of these other ones down here. And these are done with um, a, an alcohol base. And so what you do with this is you put the colors down and then you put an isopropylene alcohol, blend them together with the water brush and it creates a really, really cool effect. And some of the, some of the ones down here on the bottom did too as well, so. We have a full line of markers to cover everything. We've got writing instruments, we've got uh, calligraphy markers, we've got brush markers, We've got craft tools, so uh, definitely come check us out because we got a lot of stuff to show. So thank you guys so much. I was so amazed by Daniel Smith watercolor. These are all their swatches. This stood out to me. These minerals are how they make all of their colors. The mineral, the pigment comes from the mineral, and you can see the mineral on top and the color below. And it just was one of those things that stood out to me. I'm like, oh, I, you know. I feel like this would be a really good tactile lesson for children and for adults in general to just see where color comes from. Because I think a lot of times we look at the color names and we're like, I don't know what that means, but if we see that there, we know what they mean. And these are just some of the really cool colors they were telling me about while I was at their booth. Some of the reds that are some of the longest been around colors that have been out there. They have little pet paint palettes that you can purchase. And then they also have tubes of watercolor. And I have never tried Daniel Smith watercolors, but it's on my list. So I'm gonna probably pick up a little palette to do like a little video to test these out and to see which ones I like the best, but they are such pretty colors. I'm not even sure how expensive they are, but they are just beautiful. And I'm like, okay. And they have such a pretty color palette range. I would love to make artwork with these. I'm really getting more into watercolors. I just love the way watercolors work and they're so much, there's, they're so much fun to put down. And I'm gonna show you right now is this is what you can put behind. Like if you have wood or anything, you put, you put this watercolor ground behind and you can make watercolor on any surface. Gouache is another one that they have here. So there's a little bit of difference between gouache and watercolor. These are the gouache colors. And then they have these water sticks that you can use. You can use them like as a crayon or you can just paint from them and they're gonna demonstrate them. Or, but this is the biggest <laughs> way, I mean, people do this. They just mix, oh, yeah. you know, whatever colors they want. Yeah. It's like nothing. 
can take the coast. That's awesome. You can come back in and if you want to get some, you know, more definition, some interest, you can kind of get different pull over degrees of pigments. Next up, we have Sakura, and I love Sakura. Sakura won for the best fine liner. They have jelly rolls, retractable coming out soon, and they have so many different gel pens, milky, um, let's see, what are all these names? They'll tell us them in a minute. And then they have these markers that are called, let's see, solid marker. And then these koi watercolors and the artist that works for them is actually going to show us a lot of these products coming up but i just wanted to show you what they look like pen touch this uv pen is really cool watch for it in a minute all their jelly rolls moonlight metallic here are all the names if we can get them and classic and then of course all their pens that they have they are super nice they come in so many different sizes, but they have a lot of different sizes. It makes it confusing when buying them. I do have a blog post, I mean, a, a YouTube video on how to get all of them. Like, There's metallic ones. There's the classic. They're going to come out with new colors. And they also have the sparkle and the stardust ones. Oh, yeah. So those yes. are good on like white paper and everything. But they're really yeah. good because they're very portable. Uh, and they're a little bit thinner than like the tens, the moon, the okay. those moonlight. Um, uh -huh. Just to give you a little pouch. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so in the there, pouch. I can't talk and chew them at the same time. So, uh, so they have a different ink. So when you use it to journal, they dry a little faster. So when I I journal, you know, you can embellish it. Oh, yeah. And then you can, and they, you know, and then I went to a conference. Aww. So you can draw and everything, and and. Uh, and also, then I was showing the different pens that are three-dimensional, oh, yeah. the glaze, the souffle, and everything. So, you know, I kind of mix and match everything. And then the three-dimensional, the other one with the UV, I don't know if you, so this is a UV that is invisible. Oh, that's pretty. That. And it also works on black. Yeah, so it's really nice. And you can do that on um, like Instagram. You could do, somebody was saying you could do animation with it and really sort of show things. I have actually a flip book that I've been working on and that would look really good. So the other product that they have is when you used to buy the watercolors, it would come like this, but now they have a tube that has uh, interference paint. So you can sort of see the... Oh, yeah. Right? Isn't that nice? Yeah. And it's a little tube, but it goes a long way. So I had the tube. It's here. Oh, there it is. There's your tube. There's oh, there, there you go. Your, uh, like iridescent. Yeah. Yeah, so iridescent. Like yeah. yeah, iridescent. Yeah. Iridescent. So. Yeah, it's like a... It's like and a and you use it with a water, a water brush. Like a uh -huh. like this. Yeah. And so, you know, you just sort of... I made some samples. Like this. And you just sort of lift it off. Oh, yeah. And so it works really well with this. And it also it works with damage. markers yeah. and everything. So it's really good. So it's really nice. It's, it has no color to it. It doesn't have a gold tint or a gray tint or anything. It's purely like clear, but it's sparkly. Yeah. So, yeah, That's I like pretty. it a lot. So You can put it on top of other things, right? Yes, you can yeah. put it on top of things. They actually can put it on top of once the... Um, the moonlights and those gel pens dry. I actually can put it on top of that too. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Cool. And I, I was selling. Um, if it's anybody a has like a, uh, a silhouette machine yeah, or a okay, machine, yeah. I okay, use yeah. these uh, pens to draw. Yeah. Not, not so much for this for the oh, wonderful colors, but if you wanted to Xerox a artwork with with glitter, you can't Xerox glitter. All right. But if you use it on the machine, you can duplicate it. Make Christmas oh, ornaments right. and put the metallic in it. You can put yeah. the, the stardust in it, and it, it's like an original. You make ornaments for Christmas. Oh, that's a good idea. So I use that for my silhouette. Yeah. Oh, you guys didn't get that cool. that cool? Yeah. When they came out with the grays, I did some grays, and I would just use watercolor, blow it with a straw, and then make you know use the white to do that, make trees, show depth. Um, I use the moonlights to blend, uh -huh. so I use a little bit of water, and I can go from pink and purple to blue. Mm -hmm. I can show all that. I 
use it with uh, the water markers with all different techniques. I draw on leaves and stitch on leaves. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see. You could, if you don't have a leaf, you could pretend and use a grocery <laughs> bag. This is the new colors from here. So you can get some depth and shading with it. Mm -hmm. That's with the jelly roll pen. That's with the jelly roll pen. So you know, you use um, you can either add the water first and use a watercolor paper, and then you can touch it and it'll spread, or you can just do it directly and then just you know just keep it wet and don't let it dry, and, and you can do. Then then once it dries, you can draw on top of it almost with the same color because it's it's uh, diluted in the beginning and it's darker. Yeah. So I like to play around with that. Um, you can do white on black and do lace. And all of these are part of, I'm a CZT, I teach Zentango, so all the patterns and stuff. Oh, wow. And all these are from classes that I've taken from other CZTs mm -hmm. and um, from all sorts of different things. It's <laughs> beautiful. I saw that and I said, oh, I could kind of play with that, use some watercolors and then use the pens to embellish it and do things with it. So, right, yeah. Right? Sure, yeah. absolutely. Different patterns, you know, that they have names for and everything. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then I saw somebody do these trees with the watercolor, and I said, oh, uh -huh. I'll kind of duplicate it and put some other patterns yeah. on it. And um, let's see. You can also take the, you can use a glaze pen on oh, black, wow. so it has a nice effect. Yeah. And then um, this one has that UV on it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. See? And then that's part of that uh, tube of the iridescent. Mm -hmm. So just to see what it was like on black. And um, with a quickie glue pen, I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's been out for a long time, yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. Looks like that. And you can use uh, the foil, or you can use yeah. uh, interference powder like this mm -hmm. and you can brush it on once the glue is dry so you can draw oh, different things. Right. That's pretty. Does that help? Yeah. Oh, so got when, it. it's, when it's wet, it looks different okay. than when it dries. Just a tad. This is Yasutomo and we've been in business 70 years. We're celebrating 70 years uh, in the business and we are the purveyors of watercolors, Asian art materials, sumi supplies and origami. So here we have origami. We have our washi, our traditional yuzin and washi papers that have been around forever. And now we have a brand new selection of papers designed here by me, <laughs> right here. These uh, six skews are collage inspired papers, but they are made in Japan. So you can use them for origami and for mixed media, for collage, for bookbinding, all kinds of scrapbooking because they are acid free. And then we have pure paper, which is uh, pure color all the way through so there's no white on the inside you've got 100 sheets and then all these color combinations so you can make flowers you can use it for drawing mixed media gel printing all kinds of fun things and then we have a large array of exclusive designs only to Yasutomo right here these are uh, watercolor based on watercolors and these are kaleidoscope papers and what's great about those when you fold them they make a new pattern and design each one of those they're really fun and then these are are just tried and trues and then we also have coloring coloring origami which is fun on its own because it's just black and white prints but then you can use it for coloring and more animal prints just more like for kids right over here down at the bottom then and moving on to the Asian art supplies, we have uh, Watafuti brushes from Japan, great for sumi, but also for traditional watercolor painting. They're fabulous. And we have Gonzai watercolors. This is the authentic 12 color set, very Japanese colors. Um, and then this is the Asian set, which is just gold, silver, two types of gold. Uh, black, red, and white. Really nice for just doing a Asian style. We have a bone folder tool, which really belongs over there. <laughs> but it's also good for scoring, you know, bookbinding. And it can be sharpened with a sandpaper, which is really nice. You can fix it. These are our Japanese papers, really high-end uh, for watercolor, printing, all kinds of different things. They all have different properties, even though they're similar in color. So you've got, this is one of my favorites. It absorbs the watercolor like crazy. It's beautiful. 
Uh, I can show you some samples over there. Um, we also have the rice paper or washi. That's This has been one that in the staple. It's been around a long time. It's more of a student grade. Very nice to print on. Uh, jelly printing, book binding, painting, watercolor, uh, everything. I mean, I'll sh there's samples over there with it in use, but it's fabulous. Then we also have mineral paper. Mineral paper, the newest is our heavier uh, 240 GSM, so it's a double, it's about double the weight, so it feels really nice. And you can, watercolors are fabulous with it. Ink, stamping, you know, just about any mixed media. The only thing I don't recommend is oil-based, like oil pastels. For some reason, the oil um, tends to react with the, with whatever, the binder, I think, and causes a little wrinkling, just a little buckling. It's not a big thing, but it's, it's there, so I never recommend that. Okay, so we got the oh now this is new. These are our kits. So we have the the shikishi kit and gonzai kit. These are uh, colors unique to any of the colors we have, so they're really mixable. They're like a CMYK kind of. So you've got uh, cyan, we've got an indigo, so it's not black. Nothing is repeated in any of the other sets we have. And these are really pretty. When you can make flowers, this is like a sample of. You can see underneath in the package a sample of. Uh, actually, it's over there. I've got it, probably the real thing is over there, but I can show you that. But um, so that's a kit, and these are both sides the same. Uh, the mineral paper and the silver point. Silver point is a, a metal point drawing where you do it on either the mineral paper or on gessoed surface. Then we have our fusion brushes. Now they come in a wrap, which is really beautiful. Uh, nice little wrap. You can dry your brushes and carry them. We also have sets that are with brushes we already have. Shikishi board. Now, Shikishi board is a fun, uh, a really fun, quick, like, it's like you can do art and then it already has a frame around it. And it's a board. So it's really uh, used in Japan, like for autographs and things like that. But for little quick little pieces of art, you can use a Shikishi board and it's great to share, to give. Like this one, you can have that one. <laughs> and now, uh, this is our Sumi kits. Suzuri stone kit is basically an ink stick with an ink stone and you would grind your own ink and then there's paper and the brushes to do with instructions for how to do bamboo. This one is liquid sumi ink, you pour it in a dish. So basically someone said, this is the Japanese style and this is the American style because we want to be quick, right? Yeah. So instant gratification, but you get the ink is already poured and made in this one. So, But they're ba basically has a instructions for that flower, which gives the person a complete experience. <laughs> and then we have some more, you know, watercolors. Those aren't new. Those have been around a while. Um, and our futamaki, which is a brush wrap, and it has, in our old style, we just had the wrap, and this one has pockets, which makes it a lot more convenient. It holds your brushes. So we've got that. And then as we move on to other new things, kits, we've got uh, exploring watercolor color kit. It has 15 colors with gold and silver. These are more like a very student grade tube watercolor. The Exploring Watercolor Kit, it comes with this palette, and the palette here has a metal hinge. Really, it'll last a long time. It won't fall apart like a lot of the plastic palettes you see. And it opens up with a palette, mixing palette, or mixing trays, and the two brushes, you get a number four and a number one, and all these watercolors. So it's a great, plus, oh, no, no paint, no paper, but, Anyway, it's a great way to explore watercolor. Oh, mineral paper is included, I'm sorry. So the mineral paper, which is a really nice surface for painting. Here, put that up there. And then we move over to my favorite, the Essential Watercolor Kit. It is the 12 mixing colors that we talked about. They are great for beginners and people who just like pure color mixes. It comes with a five by seven cold press, 100% cotton pad. There's the inside. and. It's, it's fun. It's a nice little set. You want to give an artist friend, you know, just wrap it up and it's ready to go. <laughs> and then we have our water brushes. These are the Niji water brushes we've been selling since, oh boy, since the 2000. And uh, then we have the Premier, which is our water brush. It's a little different. It's the thing that's different about it, not only is the way you uh, fill it up, but also the tip sizes are a little different. It's a different experience. So I like using, I prefer this just because it's easier but this one has some tips that I really like and there's one that's a felt tip there's an actual it's a tip that if you wanted to make your own marker that is a felt tip so you can put in any color and create do some hand lettering which is a 
really cool. nice for yeah. that. If you haven't tried that, that'd be you, I think you might. If you're a litterer. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that is that. And these are the colors here that are you know, the swatches of the colors of that set. And the other one, the studio set, is just not, the, there's no, I don't think there's a duplicate in this. But these are all very mixable, uh, but you get a lot more colors and some opaque colors that people like. Sometimes, you know, like a bright red, like that's not available in that. And then we go into the writing instruments. We have gel pens. We've had these forever. They've been a great seller at Gel Extreme. Uh, now we have the Gel Extreme R2. And they're just a little different, like the metallic quality is different. And the, this is a wider, it's, you know, has an eight millimeter tip. And these are, I think, seven. So they're just a little different and a lot more flow in these. And they're retractable. And for some reason, they don't clog. Oh, yeah. there you go. I mean, it's amazing. And another one that I really love is the Detail Master Pigment Liner. Kind of like a Sakura, you know, mm -hmm. it's like a Micron. It's pigmented, it doesn't fade, it's waterproof when it dry. And I think that these are our office kind of like, office supply kind of multi-points, which are really classy. A little, you've got the pen, you've got the red, and you've got a pencil. <laughs> cool. Fancy, fancy. And these are all the, so the samples I wanted to tell you about, this is like, um, this is one of the papers, I think this is a 6H, and that's a, we have a, a YouTube video on how to do this. Oh. You, now, I did this with a silicone replica, not a real okay. fish. Yeah, yeah, but a lot yeah. of people paint the fish, and they use, traditionally use uh, oh, sumi ink. You. you paint the sumi ink on the fish. But I did acrylic, because that's what the newer oh, guys right, are doing, right, right. using yeah. acrylic. And this is also um, another traditional Japanese form of art. It's called suminagashi. And it's using, it's a marbling. You float the ink on top and gently blow and then oh. print, makes a print, which I think is fun. And this is uh, some of our papers that I printed in a laser printer. So you got the modern and the, and the traditional right. kind of mix, yeah. you know. And then here's another one. Oh, more Suminigashi. And this is with crayons. You know those crayons mm, yeah. that you've used? This is actually, oh, I just took a stencil and did some rubbing over it and it kept changing, like just oh, wow. mixing the color up. And I've also done some where I've, after the fact, I've, I've dyed them, you know, put mm -hmm. watercolor on it and it's so beautiful because oh, wow. it colors both sides. Yeah. I don't know where the samples are, <laughs> but these are some of uh, the stuff done on shikishi boards using those watercolors. Beautiful. No, here I can take it out of the, just a little bit here. A better looking one that's out of the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're just fun. It's just, yeah. we've got stuff for everybody. And this shikishi here is done, it's just using some of the collage origami. Just kind of cutting it out and creating oh, yeah. a little, little quote. And, and just watercolors mounted on shikishi. So you can get make something really fancy. You know, you can just, oh, yeah. this has been painted with some spray, you know, the, I think, distress oh, yeah, yeah, sprays. Yeah. And I rub, I just gently rub off the uh, excess and you've got this frame. Beautiful frame. Yeah. yeah. There it is. And then we have one an artist that we, her name's Kitty and she so loves Japan and Japan things. And she did this for us. Oh. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I just think it's it so cute. She's, and her name's Kitty, so that's kind of appropriate. Oh, cool. <laughs> and these are done on mineral paper. I just did these on a Facebook Live on Friday. Uh -huh. I'm using the silver point as the drawing uh -huh. base, like to draw your watercolor, and then I watercolored it. I really love the silver point as a drawing oh, tool yeah. for watercolor yeah. on nice. mineral paper or gesso surfaces. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. And this little guy was done too, with a little watercolor oh, over it. Uh, silver points. So I think I got you. I think we got Next up, we have a Kareen and Olo. So right here, Olo has 128 colors and now they have 32 new colors for their alcohol marker line. Now Olo markers are super nice because they have two sides to them. So you can do a brush brush or a brush chisel and match them or you can put shades together. They have a little thing that will screw together. And so you can have all brush, you can have all chisel, or you could have both of them. And they have a lot of ink within them. And here's all some of the connectors. You can have like, you, you can have just one side and have that just one little connector on there. But here are all the colors they have available. I just wanted to show you this is new packaging coming out for this year. And then here are what the half looks like and the zero marker. And now here is some of the artwork that you can make with these. And I just love this. 
and the, those eye colors, how they showed how my Pokemon looked so cute. I thought that was such a great idea. And I'm going to definitely try this and with the hair because I feel like I just want to learn how to do better. This is Kareen, and Kareen makes watercolor and pigment brushes. So this is the Brush Marker Pro, and then now this is the real brush right here. So this is a new line this year, and you can see how it's just little, little brush strokes instead of like a, a, a nib that is not a brush, It's which is great, but it's going to be like a, a brush. So it'll act more like a paintbrush as opposed to, you know, a felt tip nib. And then here are all the pigment deco brushes. I have a review of that one. This is the real brush that's coming out. Real Brush Pro right here. These are their metallic gel pens. They are amazing colors as we saw up above. And then this is the real brush pigment. So on the other side, we saw the pigment brushes. These are the real brush pigments. And then metallic real brush. These are all their different deco brush metallic. Brush Marker Pro is some of my favorite. They're an ACMI member, as we talked about before. And here are a bunch of the offerings that you could put on a shelf if you were a store or if you wanted to buy it and put it in your house. <laughs> These are the boxes. They also come in boxes. They come as individual stock or in boxes. They're just really super pretty, as you can tell, another way to display them. And these are all the boxes that they come in. Hi, I'm Kyle Richardson, Royal Talents North America. Uh, we're at the Royal Talents booth here at Creativation. And I just wanted to show you a couple of cool uh, new items that we have. Uh, these are Talents Pantone markers. And we've actually worked with Pantone, which is the global color system uh, that's been around for a very long time, used for uh, any kind of product development, packaging, uh, design. And these inks and markers that we developed actually took four years to make with Pantone. They are 108 different colors. Uh, they match the color system within the graphic design system range of uh, Pantone. They have a chisel nib and they have a brush pen nib. And the, uh, with the chisel nib, one stroke on our paper matches the exact color of uh, the Pantone chip that's on the little end of the, of the uh, cap. So they're really cool, really exciting, new, fresh, kind of hot product. Um, along with that are the inks. Same thing, it's the same ink as in the marker, but it's in a jar with a pipette. Uh, so you can either refill the marker or you can use it on your own, like Vic Hollins is here. She's making a beautiful painting with the inks and they are, <clears throat> excuse me, water-based inks. But the thing that's unique, unique about them is that they uh, dry permanent, they dry fast, and they're pigmented, so they're highly light fast. So they're not like any other ink that's ever been out there. Um, so a lot of fun, we're still learning new ways to use them. You can see that she can uh, mix these really well, they're very clean. Um, she's using an aqua board from uh, Ampersand on, on this painting. So here we have a little uh, place we can try the product out. Down here are our three piece sets and we have them in different colorways. Uh, the primary colors, yellows, blues, grays, and reds. That kind of lets you have a little color grouping of, uh, of the markers. Over here are all the colors of these inks. And like I said, they can be used as a refill for the markers as well. And you can refill each marker about seven times with one of these refills. So they're a refill, but they're also an ink on their own which is pretty unique. Uh, now we also have Pantone paper. We've pulled a few pads out of here for the show, but these papers are designed specifically to work with Pantone uh, markers and inks to get the exact color match. Uh, they're kind of like a, I'd say like a Bristol paper, very similar to that, um, lovely paper. But the markers and inks work on all sorts of different papers and uh, they have different properties when you use them with different papers. If you use it with a watercolor paper, you can move the color around re really easily. Uh, with a Bristol paper or blotter paper, the color is going to stay really fixed. So you kind of have a lot of different options for how you can use the inks and the markers. Here we have something brand new. Uh, these are uh, papers made by the brands under Royal Talon, one of these brands being Van Gogh. Van Gogh is our artist level, so it's kind of in between a novice and a professional, so it's really good quality, really good value. Um, we have this sketch pad um, here, and what, it's, what I want to show you is that these are uh, high quality sketch papers, they're micro-perfed, uh, double wire bound, 
Uh, and what I love about these is the, the covers. We worked with our uh, one of our ambassadors, uh, Wenyi Huang, and we wanted works that were in process to show you that, you know, uh, these are some of the tools you can use on these pads and papers uh, to show you an artist's work that wasn't finished, that, you know, nothing ever is finished. So we wanted a really nice look at a kind of like the, the table that an artist would be at. We have watercolor paper here as well. And this is uh, 300 gram, 140 pound, um, cold press, really nice sheet. And again, Wenyi Huang uh, is the one that did the artwork. And we have our black watercolor paper as well. <clears throat> this is really popular with uh, interference and metallic colors because it kind of gives the dark surface for those to be really uh, pop and be shown off. So again, these are 300 gram, uh, 140 pound, cold press, acid free, um, beautiful paper. We also, on the, on the other side, we have the Van Gogh mixed media paper. And this obviously can be used with all sorts of different media, uh, wet and dry. So it's gonna have a really good drawing surface, but it's also sized to be used with wet media. Um, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Again, all these are micro -per perfed and true size. So this is one of our Talons Art Creation sketchbooks. Uh, these are beautiful, we sell a lot of these. There's 15, no, I'm sorry, 16 different colors, five different sizes. And these are gonna be 80 sheets, 140 gram, and they will accept a light wash. And they're really good actually for, uh, you know, thin layers of acrylic for doing uh, journaling if you wanna do embellishments with paint on the paper or gouache, anything like that. So these are kind of like a heavier duty version of like a moleskin. Um, they're really nice uh, kind of ivory colored sheets and really durable. Uh, nice to have all the different color options as well. My favorite. My favorite's the Instagrammable size. It's our, our best seller. People love that. And these are available almost everywhere. You can find them at any art store, a lot of craft stores. So a lot of fun. But not least, this is new. Uh, this is our Rembrandt watercolor. So this would be our professional watercolor paper, 100% cotton, 300 gram. Uh, this is a nine by 12, 20 sheets. And it's a beautiful crisp surface. It's kind of a mix between a soft press and a cold press. And so I, I, I sourced all these papers and made them, uh, converted them in the US. And I wanted something really different that isn't currently on the marketplace. So these are uh, pretty unique. And this is a four side glued uh, pad, we call it a block. And there's a little gap right here that you can put a, your, your painting knife in to separate the, the sheet. So they do that because it'll make it a pre-stretched uh, watercolor sheet so you don't have to stretch it on your own. All right, so these are Amsterdam acrylics. These are our top selling product that we make in, in the Netherlands um, by far. So these are, uh, originally it was 90 colors. Now we've added 12 new colors. So there's 120 colors in the range. Uh, the size you're looking at now is 20 mil. And these are a beautiful, uh, silky, soft, really heavy, like uh, brush stroke can be kept on them. They're beautiful acrylic, um, really good value. Um, they're not the cheapest and not the most expensive, but they're the best value. Um, we have 12 new colors. Um, these are some of the pastel colors. And these are really interesting new uh, type of color. These are actually metallic, uh, but colored metallics. So I'm not sure if it'll, it'll pick up in the video, but these are like metallic black, metallic green, metallic blue, metallic violet, metallic red, and metallic yellow. And these words are all Dutch. Because these are made in the Netherlands. I just wanted to show you, here's some of the beautiful artwork, and here is also the display. This was my favorite display. It would win for favorite display in my book that you can make with those Pantone markers. Aren't these pretty? Pantone is like the color system out there. I don't know how it came to be, but here's all the little um, swatches for all the markers that they have. There's 108 colors. And then over here on this side, we have some more pretty Pantone inspired colors. And then some mugs, some, you know, just a book. What we're looking at here is uh, the Pentel Arts booth at NAMTA. And we've got a lot of new things here, but also some things that uh, were recently introduced that you may not have seen. Uh, the first one right in the line is our point liner. It's a pigment pen. It's very similar to a, a micron tip. And so we've got a nice tip, 
all the way from 0 0.05 and then it goes all the way up to 0.8 millimeters you've got a variety of sizes to choose from it's a really durable tip that doesn't crush so it lasts a lot longer than your typical pens with those types of tips we're also introducing new colors here we've also got gray sepia and sanguine which is a nice sort of reddish color bull and open stock displays and blister carded depending on how you like to buy things or what your store carries the next is our hybrid technicas these are also very similar very fine line details from a, a 0.3 up to a 1.0 but the unique thing about these is it's a metal tungsten carbide tip and so it's extremely rugged and no matter how heavy-handed you are with your pressure you're not going to deform that tungsten carbide metal so you can still get really fine point liner type details with a really rugged tip uh, some new things in the sign pen family we've got some new fluorescent colors so these are fantastic new fluorescents Ta-da. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> he, he's shy, ladies and gentlemen. So <laughs> these are with the, uh, the brush tip. So you've got a lot of control in your line thickness from very fine to nice and flat and broad. So just another addition to all the other myriad of colors. Um, we'll go a little further down here to uh, let's look at Sparkle Pop. Sparkle Pop is our uh, metallic gel pen. Uh, it is now refillable, so you can buy refills for it. So you can use the pen and then just keep on refilling. Comes in eight different colors, gold, silver, violet, blue, all the huge. And the nice thing about Sparkle Pop is it works on both black and white paper, and it looks slightly different on each. So. The black actually looks a little with a red tint in, uh, on black paper and deep black on our white paper, vice versa. Violet looks bluish on white paper, really violet on black. Um, in the same family, the Sleechies are also a, a metallic pen, but in a really fine tip. So these are uh, like 0 0.3, 0 0.25 tips whereas the sparkle pops are seven millimeter. So, so if you're looking for something with really fine detail metallics, lychee is a great option. And then we can scooch on over, okay, on, on more of the traditional artist tools, the, the basics, the pens and pencils. Uh, a really nice option is our, our Orens. Uh, something unique that a lot of people don't understand is Orens is a one-click mechanical pencil. So it basically has a self-feeding mechanism on the lead. So you just need to click it one time and then you can start using the lead and writing and writing and writing. And it's got a protective nib that stops the lead from being broken. And it just continues to retract back into the body until that one click of lead is all used and then you can re-click it and, and start again but it, it goes for like you could fill a whole page before you have to click again uh, so that's really fun product and it's also available all the way down to a, a 0.2 millimeter so like fine hair details and things like that you can achieve with that uh, Another really nice product that everybody loves to use on the art side is our graph gear. And so here you see we've got actually three levels of graph gear now. So the graph gear 300 is our newest models and it's got the same durable metal tip that all our other graph gears have, the 500 and the 1000, but it's in a it's a more colorful, slimmer and affordable body. Right, so Graph Gear 1000 is more around $20. Uh, Graph Gear 500 is more around $12. Graph Gear 300s are in the $7.99 range. So, got mechanical pencils with high 
caliber, quality materials, and whatever price point you're comfortable with. And then down here, of course, are our popular erasers. So we've not only got the normal block eraser everybody's familiar with, but we've got the jumbo. And a lot of people like to use these to carve and make stamps or uh, shoes. <laughs> you, know, you could erase almost anything with these guys. So they're a really fun eraser. And then we're introducing at this show, we've actually now got a soft eraser. So a lot of artists have been looking for a soft eraser. And so the debris from erasing on a soft eraser just sort of clumps together. It's easier for cleanup. It's also a little more forgiving on paper because it's soft. So when you really want to, uh, to control your erasing, the soft eraser is a nice option. And then over here, we've got brand new items first showing at this show. So these are our milky brushes and our dual metallic brushes. And so these are two different types of ink. So the Milky is more of a pastel uh, color palette that really looks great on black paper, but it also looks amazing on white paper. And so, you, you know, again, it's a brush tip, so you can do very fine lines all the way up to very broad strokes. And they are pump activated, so you can add more ink to the tip just by pumping so you can really saturate that tip as much as you like uh, to really get the the tone that you want on your product and then on the other side of the spectrum is our dual metallics and so same same body same pump function just a different type of ink this is a metallic ink and so you see this is a metallic green going on white paper and then we can do the exact same metallic green on a black paper and so this is where that dual comes in you can see here it looks a little more blue where on the white it really retained the green that you sort of see on the label but it's the exact same product so and then in this area is our inner gel corner so inner gel is our number one selling gel pen it's a quick drying, vivid color gel pen. Uh, Left-handers love our products because they don't smear or smudge. And uh, all of these products use the same Energel refills inside them, but they're available in a variety of form factors. So our RTX packs, which you're looking at right here, are our most popular. Uh, you can find those pretty much anywhere. Uh, and then down below, we've got sort of our alloy bodies. Those are metallic, metal-bodied pens. They have a nice heft to them. They're great for a, a gift or sort of a high-end kind of pen that you just keep to yourself. Uh, and then right next to it is our newest one, it's Energel Kuro, and it's a slim black rubberized body. And these are great for journalers because uh, it's very slim. It fits in a pun loop or in the spine of a journal. And because it's so slender, it doesn't deform your journal. It's great from the go. Uh, and quickly becoming a favorite for everybody. Uh, right here we have some pocket brushes in limited barrel editions. So pocket brush is a is a on the go brush pen. So it's got the the brush tip that you've been seeing on some of our other products, but. Uh, uses a cartridge refill so you can refill this over and over and over again and so it's nice and ecological and uh, a great thing to just carry in your bag and be ready to sketch at any time and it's available in these wonderful barrels so you got you know sakura and waves and mahogany and marble so really fun product hey this is chris kaler again uh, coming to you for the 12th year in a row on this lovely channel uh, so you know me by now as an industry veteran in the uh, art space for Pentel. Uh, let's talk art. So this is a little drawing we did yesterday. Um, part of it was done by me. Most of it was done by our other artist in resident, Phyllis Wong, who's here somewhere. Uh, this is Phyllis. She's the brains behind the operation. She has no idea we're talking about her. So this uses Milky Brush 
the uh, if you've ever used Milky Pops, it is the same ink, but in brush form. This is something I've been wanting for years and years, and I'm glad they finally have it. Uh, these are a total game changer if you've ever wanted white ink on black paper, or uh, there's a set of how many, eight colors? Mm -hmm. Eight colors. These are fantastic. Uh, I blended those out with the aquash brush, so we could take a look right here and I could show you how this is done. So you'll see here, this is, if you've ever used a color brush, it's very much the same brush tip, so real bristles. And I'm going to take the aquash brush here, and while the ink is still wet, we could blend it out right on surface here. And you'll see I get a really smooth gradation. And I could also work into wet. You could also blend the colors into each other. We're in New Orleans right now, so I'm just drawing a, a beignet. If I can't eat them, I draw them. So this is the Milky Brush. We're also working with the dual metallics in this. If you've used Sparkle Pop, it's a really similar interference ink. But just like the Milky Brush, it's going to come in brush form. So these are going to give you all that iridescent uh, sparkle of the Sparkle Pop, but with all the control of a brush. And just like the Sparkle Pops, you're going to see the two colors if it's on white paper, you'll see one color. And if it is on black paper, you will see another color. And you're gonna get the, the beautiful um, brush stroke. I can't even pull the stroke with Sable. So you'll see here, you get two completely unique colors depending on the surface color. We also have the Sign Pen Brush Fluorescence. These are new. So you can see here, they are extremely vibrant. And they're still gonna have that special tip that calligraphers love. I am terrible at calligraphy, so I'm not even going to attempt it. We also have the sign pen vacation colors. Uh, here's an example of those in use. And these are going to be a little more naturalistic, less saturated for plain air and landscape. A lot of people just love drawing with the sign pens, but want to do more urban sketching and on location. And this set is great for that. Also great for calligraphy. And the mat hops. I think we probably talked about these before. We'll talk about them again. The mat hops are going to be a hybrid gel ink, I believe. And we have a new color set called Ice Cream Colors. These are going to go down, and they're not going to look that opaque or vibrant quite yet. But as they dry, you'll see it just increase in opacity and vibrancy. You could also use these to fill large areas, which you can't do with most gel pens. And you'll see as I go along and it dries, it's just going to pop right off the page. So these originally came in eight colors, and we introduced a brand new set of, how many is the uh, ice cream color? Six new colors? I believe, yes, six. It's six new colors. So we have a brown, an ivory, a yellow green, a coral pink, a um, new teal green, and whatever color this is. Is this purple? 
Lilac? Maybe? Lilac, thank you. Yes. I'm not good with color. And those are the Mad Hops. We also have the Point Liners. Uh, people have fallen in love with the Point Liners, so we've been just expanding this line. So we had uh, an original set of sizes. We've also added calligraphy tips and a gray sepia and a sanguine, which is like a blood red. So those are all part of the product line as well. Cool, so those are our new offerings here. Did you talk about Kuro? Yes. Okay, so those are all the new products we have for this Namta. Uh, and again, Phyllis is pretty much running the show, so I'd focus mostly on her. <laughs> cool, thank you. Okay. So we're back over here at the Matt Hop table. And so the Matt Hops were introduced last year uh, in 10 colors. So these are nice, vibrant colors. But we also introduced uh, six more new colors, some lighter sort of what we're calling the ice cream colors. They're in this range right here. You can see some creamy greens and corals and vanillas. And so this is a wonderful display where you can get all of the different colors. And as Chris demonstrated, uh, it really pops on black paper, but it also is fantastic on white paper where you can really layer up this gel pen to fill in all this space and this color will really get saturated in here. And so, uh, Flotune, or sorry, Matt Hop just won the Japanese Stationary Product of the Year Award about a week and a half ago. So, it's a really popular up and coming product. I think you're going to see a lot of Matt Hop everywhere this coming year. And then here's some of the packaging that you'll be able to find it in stores in. Markathon actually is a dry erase and permanent markers that we sell. They actually have a pump action on the back of them. So if you accidentally happen to leave markers uncapped for a while, no one ever does that, right? Uh, you can actually pump it just a couple times and the ink will come right back. And it's a chisel tip marker. Really, really juicy, right? You can see how much this ink is laying down on this blue and so if I left this out for two three days I'd come back and be like, oh no all I do is just pump it a couple times and it comes right back and especially good for dry erase boards if you're doing some education uh, you can also use the exact same markers but in dry erase same pump function we offer it with a handy eraser caddy or you can buy them individually by themselves and then I don't want to erase someone's wonderful work here, but this is how the dry erase lays down ink on a whiteboard. And then over in the display case here, we've got some of our watercolors, our watercolor pencils, uh, a variety of our sign pen brush uh, in various color sets. So the original color set here, then we came out with some pastels here. And these are the brand new colors that we just came out with at this show, uh, which are those vacation colors that Chris was talking about. Okay, and then in this case, we're seeing a new product, the Sign Pen Twin. So this is the same sign pen that we've been talking about in various other displays, but in a dual tip body. So there's a standard brush tip on one end and a micro brush tip on the other end. So it's a really nice two pens in one set if you really need to condense down the number of pens you're bringing with you, but you want lots of tip options, these are a great choice. And then right below, we have our Graph Gear 1000, which is our most popular and you know premium mechanical pencil. Uh, this is actually a, a set uh, that is great as a gift or as something that you're gonna keep on your desk for illustration because it has all four sizes of the Graph Gear 1000. So you've got a three millimeter, a five, a seven, and a 1.0. And then at the very bottom, we've got our oil pastels, which are great for any kind of art project, uh, you know, uh, banners. Uh, and we have brand new colors in metallic and fluorescent that we're introducing at this show. 
So these are just a new addition to the 36 colors we already carried in our oil pastels. Okay, and that's me. Thanks for visiting us at the Pentel Arts booth. Welcome to Dixon Ticonderoga booth. I'm Kelly Baskin. I'll take you through the booth. So here we have our Strathmore greeting cards, new packaging, new display. We have everything from a photo frame card, creative cards to more wet mediums, mixed media, um, watercolor cards. So all the way to our new packaging, which is a, a larger count, so a 50 count at the bottom here. And then we have our paper displays, Strathmore, Canson, our 300 series, our 400 series, our XL, which is our most popular student grade paper, and our artist series. We have new packaging on the artist series, some really nice hardbound books, new artwork on the front. So really clean, really modern, really nice finish. So here we have our Lyra pencils, our Lyra graphites, and our Lyra monochrome. Um, we have the sets, we have the open stock, and what we're really pushing in this show is our Lyra aqua brush duos, which comes in the open stock, and our new sets, which come in the gray tones, the pastels, and our manga set. So really popular colors that we focus on in these sets. And they're all water soluble. So, I'll bring it back. so here we've swatched out all the colors. As soon as you add water, you can get a watercolor effect. So they're really great for illustrators and uh, creative artists. And here we have our complete assortment of graduates. So we have a full range. Um, acrylic, watercolors, papers, so for all techniques we cover, really nice assortment. Um, this would be a student quality, brushes, palette knives as well. Aspen brushes, they're really popular. We've previously just had the long handle. They're ideal for artists that are painting outside because of the black matte ferrule. You don't get a glare. And these are all synthetic, synthetic hog bristle. But now we're introducing a short handle, which has been highly recommended. So our Mameri brand, Italian manufactured, really great quality. They focus on purity, so there's no additives in these paints. It's just pigment and binder. And the maximum amount of pigment is used in each paint. They're very high quality. There's 83 single pigment colors across the range, which is a very large range. It gives the artist the ability to intermix colors, and it takes longer to get to the gray scale. And all the tubes, this is our new display. All the tubes have a hand-painted swatch. Here we have our color wall. So we have our Daler Rowney System 3 acrylics in both the regular body, the acrylic inks, and our fluid acrylics. These fluid acrylics have been really popular. They're a nice travel size and they have a really fine point, so you can actually draw with them. You have a lot of control. A lot of artists may sign their work with these. And then we have our FW inks. We have the eight count skews and the nibs.
our Georgian oils and Georgia, Georgian water mixable behaves just like a uh, traditional oil paint, but you can add water to it instead of using solvents. Our Aquafine watercolors, this would be our student artist grade watercolor, but, ha but it has fantastic pigment. Um, it, it's been really popular with artists because of the pigment load. It's really high quality. New with Aquafine is our S. Campbell set. So we've worked with her to uh, develop a set that kind of mimics her palette. So she's worked with us on all the colors that she uses on her palette to create these beautiful florals. And then our Mamari Blue watercolors, they're our professional grade watercolor. There's 90 single pigment colors in the range, really bright, really bright range of colors. Uh, and new in the line we have new sets that are themed. So we have our Venice one here. And then we have our Jenna Rainey and Jeannie Dixon sets that we've worked with them on. They have a huge following. So we've been working with them um, to develop these sets that are have different colors in the range, similar to what they would use in their artwork. Images of the Mamari Blue, so you can see really vibrant range. And what I find with watercolors or paints that are manufactured in Italy, um, the paints are a lot more vibrant because they have different reference points. They're going off of sunshine. <laughs> so really, really bright colors. And there's no additives in these paints. It's just pigment and binder. And here we have our professional watercolor papers. So we have our Arsh, which is really popular, and our Saunders Waterford. Very different papers, both 100% cotton, really high quality, gelatin size, but they offer the artists um, different, different performance. So with Saunders Waterford, uh, it's a little bit more um, friendly to layering. So for artists that may be working with a uh, more realistic style, that would be a great option for them. And then we have our new rack, which is our extra large pads. So it holds all of our 300 series and our XL larger pads in one complete assortment. So here I've been working with Saunders Waterford and Mamari Blue, just kind of really highlighting the quality of the paints and the quality of the paper. So with, Sink, with Saunders Waterford, if I'm doing more layering work and a lot of scrubbing, like I am in these two pieces, then you see it takes it a lot more. There's no pilling, there's no buckling, really even wash. And with all these paints, you'll see how vibrant these colors are. So one thing that I've done here is I've shown what you can do with just working with a limited palette of five colors. So I've used the Cadmium Yellow Deep, Quinacridone Lake, Green Gold, Ultramarine Deep, and Payne's Gray. And you can see the range of colors just by mixing two together. So really clean undertones, really vibrant colors. And a story that I love to tell is, uh, is so Gianni Mameri, um, he was an artist and his brother was a chemist. And he was trying a lot of paints and didn't really seem to like any of them, so they decided to develop their own. And when they were developing this range, they decided to focus on purity. So the Mameri Puro and the Mameri Blue are really, really great quality, professional range. and. What the, what the single pigment range does is it gives the artist the ability to intermix colors and it takes longer to get to the grayscale.
So this is actually a Payne's Gray. This is really unique to the line, but because this is a true Payne's Gray, you can see the blue undertones. Usually it's a little bit more on the gray side, a little bit more on the purple side. And then we have um, the Aquafine that I've been working with as well. So you can see, you can see how brilliant these colors are for a student grade. So this is the 24 count set. And some of the colors that are new to the Aquafine range, we've actually taken from um, the Mamari line. So our really popular Dragon's Blood, which is a really cool name, but also a really great color. I've used it a lot in this piece here. So this is the Dragon's Blood. Thanks for watching. Next up we have Sadler and Sadler makes markers and I think they make some colored pencils and they make pens and I have done some reviews on them and I am definitely I think going to pick up the next oh this is the artwork by the artist isn't he amazing I just love it so I'm going to pick up this pigment arts pen I feel like this one is amazing so I think that 36 I'll review and then I have reviewed some of these double n watercolor brush or fiber tip pens on my channel already. So check out those videos. Here's some more of their pens, the Pigment Arts pen. These are some of their pens, also more of their pens. This is kind of like a silly putty item. Uh, this is a marker, it might be new, the Fimo. I have not seen it before, so I would love to try that one out. And here are some of all their product offerings with their colored pencils. So that 72 pencils I sh will probably try out. And then here are some of their pens, the Fimos, just kind of a look at all of their products. This eraser is new. It's made from renewable raw materials introduced at this show. This is the new products showcase. So they have this in the center of the floor and they had a bunch of the new products. So if there's something that stands out to you, comment below and I will try to find out some more information about it. I'm just going kind of fast through all of these products. Holbein, we saw this one already at their booth. Econ Art looks amazing. I didn't make it to all of the booths, so if there's things that you see that you're like, oh my gosh, you need to go back there, let me know. And next year I will. I love these books on how to draw. I didn't find the booth, but I was like, I'm gonna look at those later at home. Liquid Text, I'm gonna go through that one. Pia Bebelo, oh, there's Terry on Top Crafts again. <laughs> they are so much fun to hang out with. We had a lot of fun uh, at, the young professional night and we went to dinner one night and the real brush that we already saw we have the ink tense blocks and then we have sharpie's creative marker the germ went chroma flow over there and then we have the acrylic and then simon hurley new lunar paste which i've seen a lot of paste but it doesn't have the ap symbol on it so i'm not like 100 percent on that because i'm like come on next up we have craft crafter's companion and that artwork is so nice that person that was actually drawing right there i have his name on the screen but he designed all these boxes isn't he amazing i'm just like so talented so they have the colorista by spectrum noir and i think this is their line that's not as good as their spectrum noir marker which you're going to see on the other side they don't have all of their boxes here but this is the spectrum noir and this is like i think their alcohol marker i'd have to double check on that one but it's just amazing the artwork that you can create. Look at all this amazing artwork that he's done. Like some of this talent just blows me out of the water. I'm like, you are so good. And it inspires me. I'm like, I want to try this. And so I think on my channel this year, I might try some of this artwork, see if I can achieve some of these results. Maybe I should find a boxer class and be like, okay, I need to try it. I think I already showed that wall. I don't know why I showed it twice, but here's some more items that you can get. And they also have, it's my favorite marker storage and they have also some other storage that's amazing. And here is the artist, he's demonstrating how to use this marker. So first off, he's gonna put down one layer. I'm just showing some of his artwork while he's putting down that layer. 
and you can see like he makes it look easy you put down the first layer and then you come again and you put down a little bit darker in there then even darker I think yeah but it's all a process. So I'm like, I totally want to learn how to do this. I'm going to practice it. So that way when I, I can do this. So a lot of these things you'll have to scan in because I don't think they're light fast necessarily. And light fast just means that it won't fade with sunlight. So I feel like the alcohol markers will, I'm, I don't think there is an alcohol marker that won't fade with sunlight, but you can see that he really gets that gradient there. And it seemed like kind of simple seems like something that anyone could do right <laughs> now he's coloring the rest the color wheel company is amazing because the color wheel company has been around for a long time and it shows the different color combinations for everything under the sun and it really teaches color theory and i love having one of these in my house because it helps me know what colors are going to look good together and they have the cmy they have the regular color they have gardening sponges color source for kids to learn their color theory gardeners color wheel right there for colors in the garden creative color wheel that grayscale value finder actually added blacks to that one this is the cmy this is the artist color wheel view catcher and next up we have sarah renee clark which she has a color cube Sarah Renee. Sarah Renee Clark, it is so good to see you here in New Orleans. Nice to see you. Yeah, all the way from where are you from? Australia. How is the flight over? Long. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me about what you have here. So these are color cards from the Color Cube, and each of these has a color palette on it. So you can pick your favorite color palette, match it to your supplies, to your crayons, or to your pencils or markers or paints or whatever. And this helps you pick colors that work well together without having to think about it too hard. So it's a nice, fun way, an easy way to make your projects look good. Thank you for showing me. No worries. Calabini and Company didn't necessarily have like actual art supplies, but they had a lot of this will on their products. And I just thought it was really cool. Like they had it on bags, they had it on little books. And so I just went around the booth and found them. I'm like, it'd be so fun to have some of these in your home. They have a puzzle, a tea towel, system of colors. I don't know where this come from, but it's, it's just kind of amazing. And then they have a little bag right there, all their puzzles. They do like bees. You can see the, the um, flowers, the anatomy. I really like this company. I feel like they make some really fun products that are like a little bit different than your normal, just everyday products. They'd be really fun to just buy and have um, a system of colors. I don't think it has anything in it. It was just the cover looked really cool. And then here's the puzzle again, the vintage puzzle. Hello everybody, welcome to Arteza. All right, so first of all, we're going to kind of walk through um, Arteza's drawing collection. If you look at what Arteza is kind of known for, it's a lot of fine art materials. And so with that, um, you can kind of start with this top shelf here, which has uh, our expert color pencils. They come in various counts and forms as well as packaging as well. Um, but in essence, it's, it's a pro series color pencil um, with these beautiful red trays in it. There's also built in color numbers and names on the top side within each of the panels as well. Now, when it comes to a lot of the brand, there are multiple tiers. So if you look at the green coloring, this is kind of the classic level um, product within Arteza. If you look at the yellow branding, that's more of a premium style product. And then once you go to the expert slash pro level, um, that'll give you your, your top tier product. Some of the newer products we have are uh, these chrome markers specifically it comes in two skews and two different counts this one specifically um, comes in a six pack with three you have a uh, a fine nib version as well as a bullet nib version you get three of each of those there's also a, a secondary pack that has a chunky um, chisel one inch nib as well the great thing about these is it will actually provide a true mirror finish on the product long term so um, a, a really fun new way to experience um, 
chrome marker specifically. It's also, it does really well on non-porous surfaces. So uh, we highly recommend that you always use them against that. While you could use them on wood slices and a few other um, types of surfaces, um, they end up not being as shiny as people would expect typically. But ultimately, that's where it goes. We also, if you kind of, if we pan down here a little bit, you have everything from your water-based um, dual, like real brush pens, there's dual tip, there's single-ended, we have soft pastels, various forms of charcoal, three markers, gel pens, you name it in the drawing section, there's a lot of different options. These are quite um, famous here with the Arteza Everblend markers. Um, th there are various forms of water-based as well as alcohol-based as well, but ultimately, um, those are a really large mover for us. We have various forms of, of paper products from mixed media pads to notebooks, sketchbooks, um, and various forms. There's also watercolor books um, that come with a, a, a cotton paper and various forms of grams and poundages as well. As we start scanning, we have um, our, our paint division. Within the paint division, there's a lot of new products this year. Um, we'll focus primarily on the top side for now. If we look at, we have heavy, heavy body acrylic paint. This is a brand new category for the business. It comes in three various SKUs. You have an 18 um, pack set with 18 beautiful colors. You have an eight pack set and in smaller um, two forms of 20, uh, 22 mil. And then you have a six pack, which is a great mixing set. So what's different with this is you'll, you'll get a larger um, two ounce 60 mil uh, white and black color. And then you get smaller uh, 30 mil color options. So it's great for mixing, creating colors and whatnot. So um, it's a really good starting point for somebody who wants to create a lot of colors themselves, but also is a great way to, to really expand into the, the heavy body equipment. So it's a, it's a, the viscosity is much thicker. Um, you're gonna apply it with palette knives and whatnot. It's a, it's a really beautiful product. If we come down here, let me move that for you guys a little bit. We have encaustic effects paint. The great thing about this, it's a very cool product. Um, for anybody who's not familiar with encaustic, um, in essence, it's, it's a way of burnishing um, the paint to create these really beautiful blended effects. So what we've done is we like to call it a wax-like effect because typically with encaustic paint, it has a, a wax built into it. We've actually specifically designed it so it doesn't actually have wax in it, um, but it's a wax-like consistency to allow for that burnishing. So it's very cool, very fun. You scan over here, we have um, various forms of, of little fun kits as in like the texture paint set. Um, everybody loves a good texture paint. It's quite modern, it's fun. Um, so in this you get um, various forms of scrapers, um, canvas, you get metallic paints, three colors of metallic paint, paint brushes, um, as well as a, a modeling paste. So that's a, quite a, a fun little product. As we scan farther down, um, you start getting into paint brushes, watercolor, half pans, gouache paint, you know, um, what we're typically known for being really, really good at. While everything is quite great, we do a lot of uh, acrylic paint, gouache paint, watercolor. Those are always kind of your standard areas to, to focus and build from. Now, this is also a newish product here called the desktop mirror list. So the fun thing about it is what we've done is taken a, a canvas and it and actually created a brick texture on it. So it's actually, it's a lot of fun. It'll come with the, this a wood base on the bottom. It'll also come in, with various forms of paint, brushes, as well as acrylic markers. So that's also something that's new and fun. As you see on the bottom, we have a fabric paint marker set. This is also a new product and it's a fun way for people to kind of understand just textile art and paint. So with it, you'll get um, multiple forms of six colors of 3D fabric paint. You're going to get six colors of permanent fabric paint, six colors of metallic permanent fabric paint, as well as six various colors of permanent fabric markers. So it's a fun way to be able to really decorate and have fun whether you're upcycling onto jeans or anything you find at a thrift store to bags to shoes it's a really cool kit to try various forms of really applying your art to textiles really awesome now over to the office side of things you know um, 
with Arteza, our office site is, is a really good way of segue into like the studio scene. So what we've done is we have various forms of these beautiful um, organization units to, to store paintbrushes, markers, paints, whatever it may be. So we have different types of drawer sizes um, and whatnot. This right here is actually a new product. We call it the desktop glass board. Um, it should be launching here very soon. The great thing about it is it has multiple functions. So it has, it has built in Qi wireless charging so you can actually fully charge your phone. And the fun thing about that is a lot of artists are actually using their phone as a source of inspiration for imagery. So it just charges it while they're able to do that. So we've also found that there's a, a nice little groove channel back here that allows people to place an iPad in it, place a small, a small cradle canvas in it. And so they can write their notes on this glass board here. It also has an integrated storage as well. So it's a fun way. Also with the lighting, the lighting actually folds completely flat when you want it out of space, but it also illuminates um, various forms of artwork or whatever. You could also use it in an office setting as well. Um, somebody's just wanting to illuminate their desk place or, or uh, easel or whatever it may be. Um, there's multiple functions and lighting settings. It's also dimmable. So there's a lot of multiple functions with it, which is quite great. There's a secondary um, desktop series that's called the Mini. It's a, it's a much smaller footprint. It has this great little groove channel for storage. Um, and it's just a great companion on the side of uh, the work surface for you. As you scan down, there's multiple forms uh, of really just writing utensils, rollerball pens, uh, colored pencils, glitter pens, and all of that. Uh, various caddies. There's, and yeah, there's a lot. If, if, if people go to the website, they're able to kind of see what, what that looks like. All right, now we're off to the hobby and craft section. So in the hobby and craft section, as, as a lot of people know with hobby and craft, there's, it's kind of like this amalgamation of a lot of things, right? So um, we'll start at the top side. This is a brand new product for us um, as we segue into the air dry clay set. Um, this is a, a beautiful 31 piece, or 30, it's actually 36 pieces, but it's 31 total colors. So you actually get, a, you get these, these really just beautiful, it's 18 colors of ultralight clay. They come in a one ounce bag, but they're actually quite large. So it's really, really light air dry clay. You'll get um, various forms of stone clay, wood clay, flower clay, and terracotta clay. So it's, it's a really fun way to be able to understand kind of a various forms of air dry clay. And, you know, the wood clay is beautiful. It's got this wood texture to it. You know, the, the flower clay is like almost like a plastilina, so it's bendable and pliable. You have the terracotta clay, which has that feeling of like grittiness um, that you see on like the side of buildings or roof tiles or something like that. The stone clay has like this grittiness to it as if it's like dirt built into it in various in four different colors. So it's actually, we put a lot of time and effort into really popularizing and like really formulating these the right way. Then you go into um, some of our expansions into our cutting line options. So we have a self, uh, our self-healing rotary cutting mat. So with these, it fully rotates 360 degrees. What we found with this is when people are actually cutting on rotating cutting mats, there's a, lot of, there's a high chance that they spin and, and actually slip. So what we've done is we've actually built in a, a locking mechanism into it that allows um, it to actually fit within that groove and it won't actually, it fully locks it so it won't spin and somebody, there could be a mishap. It has um, a gel circular um, non-slip uh, footing on the butt underside too. So once it's applied to a work surface, it actually won't slip as well. So if, you, if we go over to this side, let me pull this off for you. We call this the fold and stone mat. And what it is, is it's a, the perfect companion for the traveling you know, crafter artist that's really trying to do vinyl crafts, paper crafts, anything of that sort. So what you get with it actually is you get eight various forms of t-shirt alignment rulers, front and back. So it's actually four different um, sizes, but you get a front and back option. You get a beautiful, let me actually open this up for you so you can actually see it because it's, it's quite complex. But yeah, so it opens up, it has this really tidy, beautiful little traveling set with a handle. So you can actually take it with you. 
And then what it does, it actually opens up to a full size 24 by 18 cutting mat. Oh, everything's falling out of it. Um, there's an ironing pad on this left side that's fully detachable. So for anybody that's really trying to to get into it, you can actually use it, apply it to your desktop, and then you apply it back into the mat, and you're good to go. This all folds back into itself, and then it'll go. All right, so as we keep going, we also have some, some new products coming in um, with the luminous glow-in-the-dark powder. With the gloom, What's great about this is it actually, typically glow-in-the-dark powder, you need UV light to charge it. Um, this is specifically designed so that it'll take actual natural lighting from the lighting within the room, the sun outside or anything like that, and it'll charge the powder directly from that. Next, we have a 12 piece. We're really quite successful with our, poly with our existing polymer clay. So what we've done now is expanded into larger footprint clay. So these are two ounce bars in 12 colors, and this clay is specifically 100% made in the US as well. So it's not imported or anything of that sort. So um, as we try to grow our brand to, to be more sustainable and, and work towards bringing things closer to home, um, this, is, this is one of the first products to be able to do that. So it comes in 12 great colors um, and two ounce bars. Next, we, we've always done mica powder. We've been very good at mica powder. Uh, mica powder comes in, in a 60 pack and a 30 pack currently. Um, within that, you'll get 300 grams of total and, and various forms of mica powder. Mica powder goes a long way, so it's actually, you get quite a lot within these kits as well. You have beautiful colors that, that are quite fun. I have to find it. Chameleon is quite a fun one. It's very iridescent and a lot of shininess, so, so it's, a, it's fun and it's a great way to really add some, some shine to your projects, right? On top of just, a lot of people use glitter and all that, but mica really takes it to a whole nother level. Passports is a new concept that we came up with. We actually won an award at it in Germany at the Germany show in Creative World. Um, passports is a fun way to be able to try various forms of mediums in a three-phased approach. So ultimately, what you do is you take the you open up the first box, and the first box is is built off of doodling. The idea is to to doodle and have fun. We we called it the passports because it specifically has a passport size product or a notebook with 300 gram mixed media paper and so what you do is you take this and then with it comes metallic gel pens and conic fine line pens and woodless color pencils you also get uh, this beautiful like fun little um, pencil case if you if you actually touch it it's a super soft and it's, like, it's almost like gel, it's quite fun. Within this phase also, is you get five, what we call them scratch off prompts. The idea behind these are if somebody has inspiration block or they just need a form of, of help, they take the wood scratch off that's included and you can actually scratch off the front surface of this and it will give a prompt. So this one specifically says, close your eyes and imagine something that makes you LOL. Are you laughing yet? Okay, now doodle it. So it's a really fun way to be able to inspire, have fun, and really just be able to kind of do what you want with it, right? The passport meaning behind it also kind of falls in line with that whole traveling artist. So if somebody is like is focusing on this phase, they just close up this box, take this box with them, and they have fun with it, right? Once they feel comfortable after this, they, go, they can move over to the second box. The second box is specifically focused on watercolor. So within the watercolor side of it, you're going to get woodless watercolor pencils and dual tip real brush pens. You also get a watercolor 100% cotton um, passport as well with 40 more pages. And then you get four colors of metallic um, half pens, a water brush pen, and then we specifically designed the, the blister tray to also be a mixing palette as well if need be. You'll also get five more specific scratch offs to the watercolor phase as well. So there'll be 15 total scratch-offs, so it's a fun way to really kind of do something different, right? Once you feel comfortable with learning about your watercolor phase, you're going to move over into um, the painting phase. So within this, you're going to get four different colors of acrylic paint. You're going to get some gouache tubs, a paint palette, 
a third uh, passport with more mixed media. You're going to get two paintbrushes um, and then five more scratch off cards to be able to kind of expand on, on that. So th this is a really fun product to be able to, before going and investing into these large, you know, pack sizes of acrylic paint, you're like, I don't even know if I like acrylic paint. It's a fun way to be able to try them before actually investing into um, more product, I guess, in a way. One more thing to expand on the art passports is this is a concept that we want to take into various other forms of media. So we're actually getting ready to launch it over in the new product showcase shows um, a, the same concept, but in a clay form. So there'll be three phases of, of learning about various forms of clay as well. So phase one will be um, polymer clay. Phase two is air dry clay in, in bulk form. And then phase three breaks into specialty air dry clays. Um, this follows the line kind of similar to what we talked about earlier with having wood clay, uh, flower clay, stone clay, and those forms. So they come with this with you know the same 15 prompts, different forms, so they're not gonna be the same actual prompt, but um, similar concept to what the passport product was. As we as we flow down, we have various forms of, of wood slices and sh different shapes and all of that. We have decoupage kit, uh, kits. We have embroidery of various forms of needlework products. And it's, there's quite a lot. If we kind of scan down to these three products here, these are also relatively new products that we just launched recently. We have our experience box sets. The idea behind these are it's a fun way for four of your friends to get together and actually have an experience. So you take the box, you put it in the middle of the table and everyone just gets at it. So this kit specifically is a wine glass kit with it, you get four wine glasses, four paintbrushes, four wood coasters, four um, different colors of uh, acrylic paint. You get eight oil-based paint markers, and then you get um, an inspiration instruction booklet as well. So the idea here is get your friends together, have some fun, and, uh, and really just create together, kind of build some memories. We've done that in a similar footprint to um, vision board set where friends can kind of get together and all really start kind of setting goals together, whether it's friendship goals, work goals, personal goals, whatever it may be. And so this is a similar concept here. It comes with 425 pieces of different products. So it, it's, there's a lot to it, but ultimately it's a really fun way for friends to get together. This is the last of our newer products here. This is the skateboard wall art set. So with this, um, we specifically, what we've done is taken a, I can also show you this way as well, if that's easier. Um, we've taken a full size eight ply maple skateboard deck and what we've designed a special soft coating matte black finish to it. And then what you do is you also get a, a white color pencil and a pencil sharpener. And the idea behind that is somebody gets to go and sketch out their design before really applying a permanent medium to it. So they can they can create their design on it. It comes with a, a chrome marker that we talked about previously, which really pops off of the skateboard deck. And then you get eight oil-based paint markers as well. So the idea behind it is go and create your art, get really creative with it. And then when you have a finished product, there's two mounts in it that allow you to, to hang it on the wall vertically or horizontally. And I would say finally, we have our advent calendars. We, we're really known for our advent calendars every year. We sell out of our advent calendars every year. Um, what the fun thing about them is we've really taken a really cool approach of being able to be project-based with them. So every year what we do is we, we kind of, we take the feedback from the previous year and we just kind of keep building off and just make it better and better and better every single year. So um, this year we're going to be launching, this is last year's collection, just to showcase. Um, but we're, we're always going to be constantly building off of, of the success of our advent calendars and really kind of trying to bring people together and get out there and just create. That's, that's our ultimate goal, right? So we also have kids products of various forms. We have a tempura paint, a finger paint. We have paint by numbers, fuse bead kits, various forms of crayons, color pencils, washable markers um, of various forms. The idea is you really want to be able to, to you know, start them young when they're creating, because ultimately we, we want this industry to last long term, right? So it's very, very important for us. 
All right, well, thanks for stopping by Arteza. Goodbye, everybody, and thanks. Next up, we have Shin Han Art. And I honestly don't know much about them except they're from Korea. This was my time of the show where I was like trying to leave, touch drawing pencil, touch liner. They have a lot of products and it just kind of stood out to me and I was like, oh, maybe I should check this one out for later and check them out to see if they are maybe comparable to Copic or some of the other lines that are out there or Olo. I'm not sure how new they are or old they are. I didn't even grab a pamphlet. I just like was like, hey, can I video your booth? And I left. Like I said, I was running out of time because you can spend like an hour. Like I have like sometimes five or ten minutes at a company, but sometimes I spend like a half an hour there. So you just never know. It, it can take a while with some of these booths. But it just looked really amazing. And I want to look more into them. So have any of you tried Shinhan Art? And if you have, what do you think about them? It looks like they have some watercolors too some paint palettes there and they have some paper here a palette system so i'll definitely check them out online next up we have deco art and deco art is great i've used deco art all my life and i feel like they're super innovative with paint like they're always coming up with something new to try like over here this is their love color line and then we have this Deco Earth. I think this one is new this year. So these are kind of like earth tones that you can use for decoration. So you can use this for decorations in your home. You can use them for you know, painting a project to put up in your home or anything you want. It kind of goes in between that craft and fine art right there. Stained glass paint. This would be really fun like in the garden. And then we have, this is good for like mixed media. What is it? Wax effects right here. So it kind of stands out a little bit. You can get some really cool things like that. And then we have water marbling. You can see those shoes were all marbled. I don't know how light fast they are. So I don't know how good they would stand in the sun, but look at their, the light on some of that. That'd be really cool to just paint some you know, water bottles there, ACMI. And then they actually have some paints for the home. I've never used them. I don't know how good they are, but it would be awesome to try. Oil stick. This is some of their brands that they carry under the Deco Art brand. And these are some crayons that would be fun to try. And they're like, do not eat these cakes. I wonder how many people have tried to put those in their mouth that they actually have to put a sign for that on there. But they look so pretty. I probably would not make those myself because I would probably want to eat something. If I'm going to take the time to make something... I would make it <laughs> so I could eat it, but I get the idea. It looks really cute. They're just so much fun. And look at that dragonfly. Love color frosting. And then next up we have paint your photo and he is gonna explain this to you. So this is a paint by number kit that uh, you can actually customize with your own photo. And this one happens to be the pets edition. And the way this works is uh, you actually get 48 paints, two brushes, and then two canvases. These are thin canvas sheets that go through your home printer. And what you do, you actually scan this QR code. That takes you to our website, and you're going to upload your, in this case, pet photo. And it's going to uh, transform it into a paint-by-number design of your pet in about 30 seconds. You're then going to be able to print that at home on this canvas. So you're going to get a paint-by-number design that will look something like this in here and then you'll paint it in this case I painted about half of it and here are all some of the fun portraits you can also do humans he does not have that out yet this was being shown at the creativation but I would love to do this with like my kids with you know just friends and have a lot of fun I feel like this would be a lot of fun color velvet you can color on velvet I saw this at toy fair so go check out my toy fair video if you want to see a little bit more but they also have some other products under their umbrella this is the color velvet colored in and then they have these diamond paints and some more paste they also have some cards look at how beautiful those are I love the pop-up 3d cards they look so amazing they're so pretty Next up, we have Golden, and they have some new watercolors here. And he's going to show you a little bit about those. The Ali Cavanaugh set, mm -hmm. and this is the work. So she's going to do a workshop in oh. uh, in in, in our uh, factory in uh, October. Okay. 
So those are actual feed samples on the wall. Acrylic colors uh, that started shipping a, a, a month ago. And you can see the icons that indicate uh, the type of acrylic formula that these colors are now also available in. And so a white tube is indicative of our heavy body acrylic. Okay? The water drop is indicative of our fluid acrylic because it's, it, 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 it pours. It's like cream for your coffee. And the black tube is indicative of our slow dry acrylic. We call it open. Okay. Um, but this, in this particular case, this Azo Gold in it is now available in all three of those formats. <clears throat> and of course, the swatches do uh, a couple of things. They show the transparency or opacity of the color, right? Um, you can see that this ISO yellow or the Azo Gold are both quite transparent. Um, as opposed to the naphthol pink, which is completely opaque. Um, so we've added in some fluorescent colors into the fluid line. Um, and what you have behind you is a combination of all of those products, right, okay. in various sizes. Okay. So these tubes here are our heavy body tubes, which is uh, kind of the flagship of our line, what we're most known for. Uh, the thick, heavy, viscous, textural, um, very creamy um, acrylic. Open is the slow dry. We define it that way, slow drying acrylics. Uh, really good for uh, plain air painting, right? Um, fluids in a variety of sizes. Um, yeah. And we even have a representation of our, of our SoFlat colors which is uh, a range of uh, matte colors. Cool. And here are the, you could demonstrate, you could look at all of these paints. And so this is just some they had out. I'm going to try their pastel right here. So you put the pastel on like this. And I'm probably going to speed this up for you. But look at how nice this goes down. Now I'm going to use the eraser to take some of it off. So you can create some really cool effects with this. You can create a bottom liner and then you can use like the reverse drawing to take the color off. I think that's a lot of fun. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some yellow and I'm going to blend some yellow into this. So you'll see as I come down, I'm going to put some yellow on top there. It's going to cap. So there's multiple ways to use this. You can use that little padded tool or you can use this, this tool right here to get this color down. So you can see the yellow is really going in there and you can create some new colors. You can blend them out. You could probably use that tool again to the padded tool to blend these together even more. I feel like you could do, like if you had some browns, you could some, do some tree bark. Next up, we're at Kolar. They have a lot of brands under them. Windsor & Newton is first and their new motto is through the eyes of the artist. And isn't she amazing? I have her name on the screen. I feel like all these artists, like I'm just amazed. And the fact that I get to go talk to them and ask them questions about their art and they can give me tips about how to do this. Like it just makes me a better artist in general, learning how to do these things, watching them do it, like looking at their different colors that they use. And you can see just how her process. And here are all their watercolor paints. Some of them are more for, be for beginners and some are for advanced. And then they have these little palettes that you can put in little palettes. So they have tubes and palettes. And then here's more watercolors for Windsor and Newton. And then here's a little paint palette packet thing that you can pack around with you. And then some more of their watercolors that are in sets and have really nice artwork on the front. And then they have some other brands within their company. La Franc Gore. I don't know how to say that bourgeois. And then we have Conte a Paris. And then a Paris. I don't know if they say Perry or Paris, but some really good monochromatic pencils and graphite, right? And then here's another watercolor brand that they have under them. Next up is Liquitex. And look at this. It is amazing. This artist is amazing right here. He did all this. I'm just amazed. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much different art here and it's so amazing. 
Liquitex, here's all the colors that they have. They have different sizes. It's fully cleanable, reusable, and recyclable. Bio-based, heavy acrylic. And then what's really good is the recycled canvas. They make it from water bottles. And on the canvas, you'll see how many water bottles were used to create that canvas, which is really amazing. Next up, we have Fabriano, and it's from Italy. It's a paper from Italy. And they're just super nice papers. Like, I would love to get my hands on this and just try it out. I feel like the paper would be really just fun to try. I love trying new papers and seeing what I like. So the paper really makes the difference when you are using like different mediums. I found that I could make crayons look good if I use the right paper. If I had a little bit of tooth markers, you wanna use a smooth Bristol paper. Watercolor papers are for watercolor, but there's a difference between hot press and cold press and all the poundage and everything. And then having a book to put things in is also nice. So it's really good to come over and see what they have. Now they have some other, this is um, other brands that they have that are here. So they have some oil sticks and then different packaging. I don't know how to say that. So this is McPherson's that distributes these paints. They also distribute like Posca exclusively in the US and everything else. Spellbinders. So I didn't visit many of the actual like paper crafters here, but Spellbinders really was seemed really fun to me. The die cutting, the flowers that you can make are super intricate and I love the ombre effect they have on the paper. Here's some wax beads. I don't know if I'd use the wax like a ton, but I love their little die cuts. I really feel like they're super nice. Then we have some stamps that you can do also. I'm not like much into stampings right now. Like I really love those, but I do like stamps if I'm trying to do something over and over again. I have bought a couple stamps in the past year. And then we have some heat up your cells with hot foil, which we didn't, I didn't see demonstrated, but that sounds very interesting. So I have to check that one out. And then we have some more of their cards. So let me know which card is your favorite. There's some definite favorites for me. And then I think these are the stamps that they have. And it's like that mushroom is super cute. And I love this one. It just looks, I love the watercolor in it. It's not like anything super fancy. It's just simple. And then more stamps and cards that they have demonstrated that ombre effect. I don't know how they did it but I wanna learn how to do that because that was probably my favorite, one of my favorite things from here. And here are some of the tools that they have. Paper cutters, I will say Caterpillar Crop is my favorite paper cutter, but all those storage looks good. She's gonna demonstrate this. So what she does first, which I have never done before, I've used one of these items before, I think it was a Cricut or something, I can't remember. She's missed the paper and then she puts it into the press. So we're gonna put it into this butterfly press. So you can put it in a lot of different ways. I do wish that these things were a little bit bigger, like so you could do like a whole paper and then like cut the paper. So you wouldn't have to do one little paper at a time. So like maybe a 12 by 12 or an eight and a half by 11. And then you could cut out the papers as you wanted to cut them out. But look at this, it comes over here and it's like this 3D. She says she sprays it because it makes it more 3D and it like kind of makes it a little bit easier to get that. 3D effect, and this is what you can make, but I did not have time to make it. The ombre, that was one of my favorites, and this hello, just simple, pretty, and I think these are either die cuts or some of the stamps, and that's a die cutting tool. You can use it together, but I'm not sure. For those who have followed me this year, I have been obsessed with making bracelets, and John Bead makes some beautiful bracelet beads, and also some things that you can make to bedazzle. This is a bead kit, which I, they gave me one, not the wooden one, but they gave me one, so I can't wait to show it to you guys in a video. And here are some of the beads. They sell them, I think, at Michael's and Joanne, so look for them there. These would make such pretty bracelets, I think. I would love to try them out, and they're gonna explain some of these to you in just a minute. Got a nice little rainbow selection, lots of different colors of alphabets. Lots of different metals, you know what I mean, kind of thing, yeah. plastic. It's all color coordinated. We have some big value packs. It's a lot of fun things for making all sorts of fun bracelets. Cute, and this is gonna be coming out at the end of summer. It's um, got these great little phone holders, so you can have little dangles on your phones. And these little things actually um, can go on like your Stanley water bottle, okay. on the cup kind of thing, and then you just kind of clip them on. And you can create your own custom, like, super cute accessory. Yeah. 
So that's kind of a lot of fun. And then this is really great. These are polyester cords, great for like when you're doing it's waxed, but like macrame or you're okay. beating things in. It's a great little range of colors. Expanding all the time. We make it in the U.S. Mm -hmm. so you got little ones and big ones, so you can kind of do that. Um, and then we have a wide range of beads from the Czech so Republic. Pretty. What's really nice about the Czech seed beads is uh -huh. the universal size. So a lot of times when you buy the cheap Chinese seed beads, they're not perfectly sized. Yeah. So they get all uneven or the holes off center. This yeah. is actually um, hundreds and hundreds of colors and styles. Oh my gosh. Where do I buy these at? Um, you can get them at um, Joann's and we're expanding the selection at Michael's. Well, these are made in the Czech Republic. These are pressed beads that come in different shapes. Oh, so you right. got like different yeah. shells and pumpkins and flowers. Um, and these are really dramatic. Oh, these wow. are like a matte finish. Yeah. We're calling them the velvet beads, but they just are really rich. It's like that's a pretty. brand new color that's out there. So we have an exclusive on that for the next year in terms oh, of colors. That's awesome. So okay. Michael's has like a whole two and a half foot section okay. just of all these different strands. Oh and my it's gosh. all Precioso Crystal. Just really super great quality. And those are all the different pearls that you can do. And here are some more of their beads. Actually, these are not the beads. These are the ones that you put on to bedazzle things. My friend bedazzled a jacket for the air store. Check out my bracelet video for that. And here are some super pretty beads. I think that they are amazing and I want to try all of these colors, like have some in my house to make for my bracelets. You know me. And this artist made some of these amazing detailed things by either dazzling or putting the beads on things. I just love it. Next up is Bead Dalian. And here is the completed bracelet. I think it looks super pretty. I wore it around the day. I will say I like bracelets that are closed off a little bit more because I kind of felt like it might fall off eventually or get kinked. And then this is a bead spinner. This is amazing. You can put the beads on super fast. So like, let's just imagine you have a color palette in there you like. How fast would that be to be create a bracelet? Yes, it would save a lot of time. I didn't know there was so much beads, braid, bracelet, brain making but look at all these tools you can have needles you can have all this stuff that would help out so much when making bracelets so I, I feel like I had to make another video and be like this is how to make bracelets but the smart way to save time so you don't know, spend hours like maybe like five tips to save time making bracelets because a lot of us have made bracelets this year and it's taken a long time and then this is elasticity, there are needles. I am gonna look for this. And then this is really cool. This is a cord that they showed you. Actually, that might be stretchable. I'm not sure though. And then that's something they made. Next up is the diamond dots. I don't know why I got the dotsies, but I showed all the diamond dots in here. And these are the dotsies line. This is for like children. It's very cute. There are a lot of fun different decorations. They have some character theme ones. I like the unicorn ones i think they're super cute i feel like you have to be probably like a little bit older so i'm not exactly sure like i try to give my five-year-old one but by the time they were eight and they could do this i'm not sure some of the like the unicorn they would still like and like the abcs but like paw patrol maybe they would make something for their brother or sister i can see like a five-year-old doing that honestly just because i gave her one and everything ended up everywhere she didn't really follow it and i do not want to make it for her like if you give your kid a project you're going to want them to do it not do it for them and these are some cards that people have made with dotsies wouldn't that be amazing to give a friend like it'd take a long time but it would be really cute these are quick dots i don't know how quick like i've never done a dots like i feel like i should do a video of a dots like here's snoopy um, the peanuts gang they are so cute and then the freestyles so this is where you could put dots on like outfits or like they have some boots i have some shoes that need some dots so i feel like i should go buy some dots and where i'm missing dots on my shoes i could put them on my shoes i like bedazzled shoes or you could just bedazzle your shoes in general i have shoes that are bedazzled from aldo that i love i want to try the van gogh one and maybe a different one i think that would be really fun look at all these cute like those seashells i love like these are like pixelated dot art but they're so small and so detailed they look really nice this is our christmas sets and they just sparkle can you see how they just sparkle when you walk past them i love this 
one too. And then the mountain poking through. You could create your own artwork too. I wonder if there's one where you could just do that. Next up is the Japanese paper, what is it? Paper place. And their papers were amazing and soft. It almost like, I feel like it's almost like fabric a little bit, but it's just super pretty and like super nice. Like all these different papers. There's my bracelets that I just showed you. <laughs> They're just super pretty. They got origami papers here. I love all of them. I like origami. Have you guys done origami before? It is just so much fun to do. And then we've got some more origami paper here. So lots to try from. I just feel like it's fun to at least just kind of get an idea of what's out there. Look at those pretty colors. And then more colors over here on this side. Ooh, I like that one. That one's really pretty. And then some of the examples. I feel like I need a really good origami book. Because I feel like I could just spend hours trying to make origami. And then they have some creative supplies on this side. All the things you can do with the origami paper. And then the washi paper. I feel like they told me you could actually draw on this and then uh, in the Japanese culture they do also but look it's like a fiber so it's almost like it is almost like a fabric it's like a halfway in between paper and a fabric look at this those are just beautiful like I would not want anyone to ruin those it's like they're just super nice don't you think shiny and bright and just beautiful and then those are some of the origami they're postcard packs and then those are some of the smaller versions I think of the paper we saw over there and she's showing you uh, some of the papers right here and then she's going to show us some of the ways that we can make items out of air so we have this paper here and you can actually make purses they made a purse and they sewed it together which I'm like what making that out of paper like could you make like a shirt like with the shirt last would it just be 24 hours or I don't know and then this wasn't that actually looks pretty nice and it has leather on top I think that would last for a while so I'm not sure like if you could I don't know like if you make clothing you probably can wash it so you, you probably wouldn't wear it a lot but here's the rest of it isn't it pretty so amazing One of the coolest things that NAMTA did this year was they partnered with Yaya, which is a local New Orleans organization whose mission it is to empower creative people to become successful adults. And they had people paint this mural and then they are gonna donate this mural to the Backstreet Cultural Museum. And the project sponsors for this were Golden Ampersand Dynasty, Inclinable, Inclinable Light Easel, Daylight, Marvi Chida, Da Vinci Eye, and Pile Creations. I hope you loved looking at getting a peek behind the curtain at Creativation and everything that was there. I was amazed I was, by all the artists that I saw, by all the supplies I saw. I have so much that I have ideas for this year. Also, the NAPTA is just a fun place in general all the people are super nice they have so many events they had a welcome reception where the creative professionals and i am one of them i did the letter a in here we created these letters and we were able to put them on display and i think they all look so pretty everyone put their personality into it and they looked really nice there was also a president's reception where they had some good food we saw some mardi gras floats and at first we didn't know why we were going in this warehouse I was so busy I didn't have time to figure out what exactly was on each schedule and we're like are we having like hors d'oeuvres and stuff in here but it was actually in like a mansion next door but it was really fun to see all the floats and then it was just fun to hang out with all of the people in NAMTA and then they had this young professional event where we went and we threw axes and we just had so much fun we played Jenga that was like super tall and there and then next year it's going to be in seattle so make sure you check out that video for next year and i hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video